bummer. Sun's out, bathe in sunlight. But when the moon's out, bathe in moonlight. Today and I guess also the um oh this is this one oh this yeah this event as well I'm gonna do for today and also the usual resins and babies so first of Silly all let's Okay, <laughs> good thing I have keys. Alright, let's unlock this. <laughs> Checks and cuts. And where do we begin here? Oh, here. Go to the area near Hotel de Bord. Oh, he lives here. With a cut. A little kitty. Okay. Oh, so cute. Meow. Second, now activating chat mode. You made me jump there. I thought they'd finally caught me. Made you jump? Barely, I didn't know. Well, my heart rate did. Mm. Jumped up a little, I mean. Okay. Objectively speaking, the trouble was entirely of my own making. Half an hour ago, I was at Hotel de Boer for a drinks reception. It was to celebrate the successful opening of a show, but it was draining my energy. So, I waited for the right moment, then snuck away so I could switch to standby mode. I see. Um, probably because I'm playing the lead role in the show? The lead role? Is that so surprising? I'm always getting invitations to do solo performances. I just usually get Linny to write back and turn them down. But... Then came the Fontanalia Film Festival. We took all the kids from the House of the Hearth out to see a film, and after it finished, they all started clamoring for me to try out acting for some reason. Even Linny was chanting along with them. Anyway, it just so happened that a director called Mary who had sent me an invitation right around then. I'll spare you the details, but basically, I ended up accepting it. So this is the dramatic debut of a magician's puppet? Yep, you nailed it! I'm playing the role of a puppet. Mm. In fact, the show's called The Lost Puppet, and it's a masked mime show. So, I don't have to do any facial expressions or say any lines. Literally just a series of physical movements. The director says it's a very avant-garde art form. Can people understand the plan? Art is not comprehended by the mind, but felt in the heart. At least, that's what the director says. Anyway, if nothing else, the opening performance seemed to go down well. At the drinks reception, everyone was crowding around me, saying, Triumphant character portrayal. 
faithful adaptation of the original work. Unequivocally, quintessentially avant-garde. And stuff like that. But being the center of attention is draining. So the moment they left me to go harass the director instead, I was out of there. The other thing is, some weird things happened while I was on the stage. Oh, <laughs> sorry, Bonnie. I didn't mean to leave you out of the conversation. My bad. I think it was your pet cut. No, we just met. Mm. We bumped into each other right after I slipped away. Can you already name her? Well, it'd be kind of difficult for us to communicate otherwise. Besides, I think she's taken a liking to the name. Haven't you, Bonnie? <laughs> yeah, that's right. Good kitty. We'll go find your owner soon, I promise. Owner, not a stray cut then. Nope. She's wearing a collar, and for the most part, she's pretty well-groomed. If she is a stray, she hasn't been for long. Mm -hmm. Her stomach's been growling a lot. I guess she must have been missing for a few days now. As much as I'd love to hang out with her for a while longer, her owner's probably worried sick about her. Assuming she has an owner, that is. <sighs> but the reception... I should probably show my face there again at some point, even if it's just to make excuses and leave again. Mm, decision time. Is this a tough decision for you? Well, I just find it exhausting, thinking through all the different ramifications of different choices and so on. That's more Lenny's area than mine. So, unless it's something really important, I usually just leave the decision making to him. Okay. It's fine. He got Fermanade to make me a little something for just this situation. Poof! A photometer. What's this? It looks pretty over the top, I know. But it's essentially just a box of cards. He kept the design simple, so it'd be harder to break. The way it works is, I pick a card at random, then look at the number on the card. And how does that help you make a decision? Well... For example, if the number on the card is five or higher, I help Bonnie find her owner. Mm -hmm. If it's less than five, I go back to the reception. Okay, simple and straightforward. I just have to believe in the bond between me and my cards, and my fate will reveal itself to me in numerical form. Mm. At least, that's what Linny said. Anyway, I guess I'll give you a demonstration. This is the way she decides? Wow. How I wish in huh. real life that I didn't like kind that. Of easy. Was I using it wrong? Hmm. Maybe if I just Clearly there's some design flaws to iron out. I'll have to let Fremine know. I feel like maybe this wasn't a design issue. Let's see... Which card did I get? Four. Less than five, so that means no helping Bunny. <laughs> well... The cards fell on the ground though, so I don't think it counts as fate. If you want to get the right answer, you have to let fate decide. Also something Linny said. So, to put it another way, if picking a card up off the ground is how to not leave it to fate, then that means it must be the wrong answer. Mm, really? <laughs> okay. Um, or... Why don't you pick a card? Since I ran into you here, that means... Uh, our fates are, like... interfering with each other. Alright, I'll pick another card for you. Thank you. This one is final, I promise. Here, take the fatometer. If it's five or above, that means fate successfully changed. Anything lower than five is a fail. Also, if you have your own thoughts about what I should do, 
feel free to share it. Now that I've got a good problem solver here to help, I don't need to run every little thing by fate. Hmm. Okay, I think you should help Bonnie. So, we're looking for Bonnie's owner? Yep. So, how do you plan to find Bonnie's owner? Um... I think I'll go to the Steambird and see about putting an ad in the paper. You wanna come along? I think Bonnie wants you to come with. Alright, sure, if it means I get to hang out with you. Okay, what? Fate o meter? Alright. Fate o meter. Oh. And draw a card. And then. 13! So it's a. Okay, so this. <laughs> this helps limit decide. If it's above number 5, then. It's a, I don't know, it's a go-to, and if it's lower than 5, then it's a no. Something like that, right? Hmm, maybe I can decide, um, decide also using this one. <laughs> I'm not sure though, but no. Alright, somebody message me. Oh. Okay. Okay. Hello. So sorry, Melo. I don't know how um, I'm doing. Lynette's the hangout right now. Oh, I'm very sorry. Okay, should I do draw a card if if I need? Uh, okay. Oh, I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry, Melo. This time I cannot help you again right away. But I really hope to help you, Melo. Alright, again, if this is above <laughs> number 5, then I will help. <laughs> Just kidding, wait. Alright, oh, it's above number 5. I will definitely help you. Oh, it's okay. Alright, okay, I guess I will remove. Where is that? Where can I find that? Where can I find this? Oh my goodness. Where is it? Where is it? It's not here. Oh, it's here. Okay. I can place it, alright. Okay, go to this place. The Steambird. The Steambird? Yeah, the Steambird. <laughs> Oops. Every stupendous day starts with a steam bird. Oh, hi Lynette. Hi traveler. What can I help you with? Uh, any commissions in there about a missing card? Hmm. I don't think so. Hi, Have brother. you picked up a stray? Yep. If there's no commission to follow up on, could we post a notice about the missing cat instead? Why, of course! What a kind thing to do! Just fill out the form. Alright. Okay. Well, we've registered you as missing. You can stay at my place until your owner finds you. Also, I just wanted to say thanks for keeping us company for so long. Well, I should probably head back to the drinks reception. Hopefully most of the people have left by now. If you've got some time, you should stop by my place tomorrow to see Bonnie. There's a nice cup of tea in it for you. Okay, looking forward to it. Alright, see you then. See you. See you 
see you, see you. Hi, brawler. Welcome to my stream. <laughs> Alright, I have to wait for the next one. Okay. Oh, why did, did I go to setting? 7 a.m., right? 7 a.m. Alright. Okay, let's do Lynette's hangout so that, you know, we can get some Primo gems for new ballet. Alright. I haven't completed this hangout yet. Uh, I must complete this. But look at my <laughs> Chen Yu Bail. It's still the same. <laughs> but after this, maybe I will definitely complete the Chen Yu Bail. Alright. Okay, meet Lynette. Here. Oh. Oh, here. Where is it? Here, in their place. <laughs> I believe this cat belongs to me. I already told you, this isn't your cat. Oh. Uh, just take a breather, you two. What's going on here? Oh, you're here. As you can probably see, you'll have to take a rain check on that tea I promised you. At least for now. No, this is my no friend's way. cat. He's preoccupied with some important business, so I came to retrieve her in his stead. No, no. It's far more likely this cat to escaped from the Humane Society. All right. How about we let Bonnie decide? Bonnie? <laughs> uh, that's the name I've given her in the meantime. Animal handling. Let's see who Bonnie decides to approach. Okay. What is these cards? Okay. <laughs> Let's see. I have to draw a card. Okay. This one. Two. Oh, I failed? I don't know what I'm doing here. But okay, let's continue. Well, this complicates things. Okay, I didn't think she'd be so attached to you. I told you before. This is my friend's cat. It's normal for her not to trust me. Listen, I'm the director of the Humane Society, okay? We've got so many strays, dogs, cats, you name it. I'm not even the one feeding them most of the time. You can hardly expect the cat to recognize me. Then how are you so sure she belongs to you? Because you have plenty of cats, dogs there. Many strays. She just looked somewhat familiar, so I came to check, just in case. Oh. If she That's turns strays? out to be one of ours, I'll take her back. Simple as that. Even if that's not the case, the Humane Society could still take her in, if no one else comes to claim her, that is. What's the Humane Society? Ah, we're an organization that specializes in rescuing and sheltering stray oh, animals. We've been in business for several decades now. I'm Bernard, the current director. The Humane Society? Huh. The name sounds familiar. I remember hearing good things. Near the one in the Cartier Lyonnais? Yes, yes, that's the one. Anyway, um, if it's not too much trouble, could I possibly take a closer look at the cat? If it turns out I really am mistaken, I suppose that means the cat belongs to this lady here. She would be the only remaining option, after all. Okay. It belongs to my friend. With us here to keep watch, it should be fine. Go on, Bonnie. Hmm... Oh, nope. Looks like I was mistaken. They do look similar, but there's an ever-so-slight difference in this one's fur color. Deepest apologies, friends. Okay. Well, I suppose this means I still have a missing cat to search for. Apologies again for the confusion. Hmm. <laughs> At least you're being honest. So is this your friend's cat? Mm. Oh, uh, 
Yes, exactly. Are you sure? Wait a second. You lied earlier, didn't you? Lied? I'm afraid I don't know what you mean. Hmm. A liar always has a tell. The look in their eyes, their breathing pattern, the way they hold themselves. The things that can give you away are often more numerous than you would think. What are you talking about? The way I see it, you're conflating baseless conjecture with fact. Normally, when someone is called out, their breathing speeds up as they begin to panic. But your breathing pattern hasn't <laughs> changed one bit. Okay. In fact, it's been strangely calm and measured this entire time. It stands to reason, then, that your agitated behavior earlier was all an act. Wow, Linet really is an observant. I guess that is the trait of introverts. I don't know. If you're a bad guy, I'm sure you'll take off running the first chance you get. If you're a good guy, the most likely explanation is that you're a member of the guards or some similar organization. <laughs> and you're basing this off of? Intuition. Nothing more. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> Intuition. Well, I have to hand it to you, Lynette. You're right. I'm a member of the guards. The name's Elodie. I'm currently investigating a cross-border smuggling case. This cat here... Bonnie was her name? Well, her owner is one of the prime suspects oh. of our investigation. I see. But it has nothing to do with the cat. The cat is innocent, right? Hello, Lou. Hi, welcome. A couple of days ago, our suspect got wind that we were on his tail and fled. That's most likely how he got separated from the cat. But the cat is innocent, right? Or is it... I just so happened to stumble upon your notice in the Steambird. So, I decided to see if he'd come back for her. But... Looks like I overestimated him. Hmm. I don't think I come back either. The impact of this case has been huge. The Marachose Phantom, the guards, and the Special Patrol have all launched investigations. If there was even the slightest chance that he would show himself, I had to follow up on the lead. Oh, I see. Hi, Lou. I'm I'm good. How about you? <laughs> um, we have three days holiday here so i'm i'm doing good i'm resting <laughs> all right so what's being smuggled a new kind of illegal drug mm. imitation synth okay we confiscated all the synth on the market but addiction isn't something that goes away overnight even without substances on the market people are still looking for a way to get their next fix mm. how about you lou how about you guys who are watching how are you guys I hope you are doing great this Holy Week. I don't know if you guys are celebrating or or commemorating Holy Week. But I hope you are doing <laughs> great this weekend. And criminals are all too eager to capitalize on that addiction. Okay. That was the impetus for imitation synth. Needless to say, a small-scale market opened up very quickly. Okay, it's about uh, criminals here now, not about the cat. Okay. Oh, that's good, Lou. Um, <laughs> I am. You're from Australia, Lou, right? Cause I I was able to hmm, join a stream where somebody is from Australia, and 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 she's she said there's Huntsman in Australia. I I'm not sure Huntsman, the big spider. <laughs> I was curious about that. <laughs> Imagine having classes on Saturdays. Oh, uh -huh, you have classes mm, I don't have classes Saturday <laughs> uh, to uh, this Saturday no classes cause it's holiday here after the original synth debacle we put several measures into place to prevent similar incidents from occurring the perpetrators got smart though and shifted their sales overseas before those measures could kick in that's when the imitation synth smuggling began Lou, I'm curious about Australia now because I heard there's Huntsman, the big spider. Um, is there a big spider inside your house or near your house? I'm very curious now. I was just um, 
I, I just joined a stream and there's also one girl from Australia. She shared this Huntsman in her <laughs> in her house. Dang, I cannot sleep if I if there's a big spider in my house. Really, um, <laughs> I need to kill that <laughs> um, before I I do something. We only recently got word of the presence of imitation synth overseas. We managed to track down evidence of some early transactions. What um, we were able to find out, Huntsman, however, hasn't proven that useful given the amount of time that has passed. I just, I was just curious because it was last night when I joined the stream and somebody shared about having Huntsman in their house. Huh, there was one in your house yesterday? Oh my gosh, it's very huge, right? Huge spider we're talking here. It's like huge, like bigger than your face, they said, like that. Oh, I cannot, I cannot sleep when there's spider <laughs> like that. The Mars Chaussee Phantom launched an investigation to track down every person in Fontaine capable of producing mm. a drug like that. That's how we learned about Bonnie's owner. Who is he exactly? He's a researcher at the Fontaine Research oh. Institute. His name is Pierre. Is Pierre Lafever, to be exact. Is he Lafever? I cannot imagine there's a spider inside your house, Lou, the big spider. <laughs> I cannot. Okay, let's check Lynette's expression. Strange, she usually schools her expressions with mechanical precision. The Marchose Phantom found him in Poisson. In addition to the cat, he also had a pendant with him. It's that now? How 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 did you kill the, <laughs> did you kill the spider? <laughs> I can not sleep when there's a spider in my house either. I I guess I can sleep if the spider is just little bit it's just tiny. But the spider like there, it's very huge. I cannot. I really cannot. <laughs> oh, what is this? At first, there wasn't much cause for suspicion. A search of his house didn't reveal much to go off of either. The Marchose Phantom very nearly left it at that. Right. It was only later that we realized the coat of arms on his pendant belonged to none other than the Lafever family. One of the most infamous aristocratic families in Fontaine. Okay. Obviously, this discovery prompted a further investigation into Pierre. At that point, okay. however, we discovered that he'd already fled. So we're doing it. Now the guards and the special patrol are all searching for him. Linets, um, That's not possible, actually. The Lefebvre family has been gone for a long time. So, insect sleeps in your house. You live in insect's house. Um, maybe it's very if it's a tiny spider, maybe I can handle. But the one in Australia, it's very huge. You know, they call it Huntsman. I cannot, <laughs> I cannot imagine having that in my house. No way. Exactly. Many years ago, several important members of the family, including the patriarch, were murdered by an assassin of unknown origin. From that point on, okay. family's power and influence took quite the hit. The family is engaged in all manner of crimes. As you can imagine, there's no shortage of people waiting in the wings to take their revenge. And with the family severely weakened, they were able to do just that. Most of the remaining family members succumbed to sickness or hunger. The ones that survived are currently living out their days under a new identity. Okay, we're doing an investigation here, I guess, in Lynette's hangout. Pierre is one of those very survivors. He's been hiding away in the Fontaine Research Institute all these years. His true identity unbeknownst to all. Until now, that is. Sometimes I, I feel, I mean, I, I get bored when I, I'm doing hangouts. <laughs> oh my goodness, okay. Is it really okay to share all this information with us? Well, my fellow guards have told me all about how smart and courageous you both are. And I know you possess a strong sense of justice. Yeah, yeah they scare you. It's huge, of course. It's uh, scary if it's very huge. Um, I cannot <laughs> imagine to have like that in my house. There could be a chance that Pierre or one of his accomplices might attempt to get close to Bonnie. 
Now that you've been briefed on the situation, I was hoping you'd help us keep a lookout. All right, I will help, I guess, in this hangout. <laughs> the inv investigation for Bonnie's owner. If I take Bonnie back to the guards with me, there's no way Pierre will try and come for her. Not even the most daring of criminals would attempt something like that. Okay, so you're going to use us for investigating Pierre, I guess? Eat them? No, no way. So, we should keep Bonnie with us for the time being. I have to admit, I'm not holding out too much hope that Pierre will come back for her. But if there's even the slightest chance, then it's worth a shot. Okay, we're going to take care of Bonnie. Well, I've got some other leads to follow up on. If Pierre does appear, please contact me right away. Alright then, we'll contact you. Hmm. But give us... Alright. <laughs> What's wrong, Lynette? It's... nothing. I'm fine. Okay, are you sure you're okay? It's just... The head of the Lefebvre family. He was the eminent person who kidnapped me oh, all those years ago. I see. This is... This is, um... Not good enough for Li Lynette. Um, hello, Rome Place. Welcome. Oh, do you play CODM? Rome Place CODM. Welcome, Ro Rome, to my stream. <laughs> I don't know if you. I don't know. I'm doing the hangouts and I already. It's getting boring <laughs> now. <laughs> but okay, for for the love of Lynette, I will I will do this. I guess. It was at a dinner party. Someone tricked me into boarding the Lefebvre family carriage. Um. Whoever it was, they took me back to their home. You're eating spider? No, no way. <laughs> no way, brawler. <laughs> Do you eat spider, brawler? <laughs> but before anything worse could happen, father intervened. Oh, good thing father was there to intervene. Yep. Father was the one who orchestrated the fall of the Lefevere family. That's what led Lenny oh and I to goodness. join the House of the Hearth. Yo, you're cooking now, brother? <laughs> oh my goodness. After all these years, mm. I never thought I'd hear the Lefevere name again. I see. This is hard for Lynette. Are you really okay, Lynette? Mm. All right. <laughs> we will do huh, this, continue this song out for Lynette, I guess. Don't worry about me. Oh, okay. I wasn't feeling sorry for myself. I was just thinking about Linny. He's been acting strange recently. He avoids me for days on end, consumes himself with some secret investigation, and then out of the blue pushes me to do that acting job. Okay. Thinking about it now, it's almost like the one I drew from that deck of cards was part of his plan all along. He must have asked Fremenay to help him out. In any case, I know he's hiding something from me. He's really pulled out all the stops this time. You think he knows about Pierre? It's very possible. I'm sure he tried to send me away because he was afraid it would bring up some painful memories for me. It wasn't necessary, though. Even after all these years, he's still as overprotective as ever. You'll have to help me teach him a lesson if we run into him along the way. Along the way? Are we going somewhere? Yep. I want to head to the Fontaine Research Institute to learn more information about Pierre. Just let me activate search mode, and then we'll head out. Who knows? Maybe we'll run into Linny along the way. Do you drink alcohol? Um, you know... Alcohol, you mean, um, <laughs> alcohol, <laughs> literally the alcohol you, <laughs> I don't know, uh, you mean wine, beer, like that? <laughs> hmm. Are you trying to prove yourself, or are you trying to help out me with this investigation? A little bit of both, perhaps. For the most part, though, I just have the sense that something's not right. Something isn't adding up about Pierre's story. I'm just not sure what. 
Um, I think for um, special uh, during special occasion, I guess when there is somebody doing toast or something like that. But I don't really drink in regular basis, just for special occasions, I guess. But not really alcohol, maybe. Um, it's cider. Is it? They call that cider or spar sparkling water or something like that. <laughs> I also want to know what secret he's hiding. Once every month? Do you drink okay. once every month? I'll write a letter explaining everything to the crew. Once that's done, we can head out. Mm, I just... I, I am doing... Um, uh, I think I think every occasion, just occasion like... Like New Year's Eve, something like that. Or if there's some somebody celebrating with with wine or something like that, just that one, not in regular basis. No, I'm asking. I never touch it. Oh, I see. I don't do. <laughs> I don't really drink um like in regular basis. Just f during special occasions, I guess. Yeah. But it's not alcohol, I guess. It's just cider. Hello, Kenshin boy. Hello. Welcome. Oh, uh, Lini is here. Lini. Lynette, you're uh, not at rehearsal? Lini, okay. Prowler is Lini's uh, main, uh, main, right? Lini main. Okay. You can drop the act, brother. In fact, I don't think either of us will have a need for acting anytime soon. You should know better than to try and keep something from me. You've never been able to do that, even when we were kids. <sighs> and that's why I tried to distract you with the masked mime show. But I guess you're just too good. When did the first time you drink me? Um, when I turned 18. <laughs> when I turned 18, that was the time that I started. Uh, the, the first time I I, I drink an alcohol <laughs> yeah care to introduce us to your new assistant <clears throat> this is officer Shavras, captain of the special security and surveillance patrol you may have met her already we meet again nice to see you we meet again Shavras next time I hope you I have should your clarify something out. Mr. Lenny's here at my invitation, not the other way around. To borrow your expression, Miss Lynette, I suppose that would make him my assistant more than anything. We've brought on Mr. Linney as a consultant in the past. He was instrumental in helping us crack a case involving a perpetrator who used magic tricks to commit crimes. I was hoping he'd be able to provide some valuable insight this time around as well. Oh, Genshin boy, are you still here? Did you complete Lynette's hangout? <laughs> uh, this hangout uh, I'm doing now? Are you here because of the left left bear case? How do you pronounce this? Sorry. Ah, uh, so you've heard everything then? That's exactly why we're here. There's always been questions surrounding the fall of the Lefebvre family. Some people even believe the House of the Hearth was involved. Whoever was behind it all was extremely cautious. They didn't leave a shred of evidence. This very fact, however, leads me to believe it was indeed the work of that harbinger. I took a look at the entrance and exit records of all the carriages that night. Let's just say it wasn't hard to deduce that there's ill will between you two. Of course, Chapus is here, I guess, because we're doing investigation <laughs> in Lynette's um, hangout. Um, it's a hangout, but we're doing an investigation thing. Don't worry. I don't have any evidence to that effect, and I certainly don't plan on going to bat for such a despicable family. Plus, you were victims back then more than anything. Yeah. I sought Mr. Linney's help with the smuggling case. Nothing more. You're really teaming up with the House of the Heart? The way I look at it, it's a collaboration between us as people, not the organizations we represent. Besides, by working together, we can expose the truth as quickly as possible. You can hardly say that's at odds with the justice my organization strives for. I assume you will not be opposed to some extra help? Not at all. 
Oh. I was planning to invite you from the very beginning, Miss Lynette. It's just that my assistant here raised some objections. Would you rather 100 spiders at your home or... Oh, man. That's hard, brother. I hate cockroach. Um, <laughs> uh, there's a lot of cockroach here in my house and I hate it. <laughs> <laughs> no, not really a lot, but there are s there are few. <laughs> mm, hi, average seemed in Asia. Hello, welcome to my stream. I'm doing Lynette's hangout, but unfortunately, we're not hanging out. We're doing investigation, and now we are here with Chabrus. Uh, Lenny, I'm not the same person I was back then. That little girl who did nothing but cower in the corner in fear, she doesn't need saving anymore. Wow. But little sisters don't stay little forever. <laughs> okay, what will I choose? I know you want to protect your little sister. <coughs> yeah. We are making spider and cockroach footage. <laughs> No, I don't want to join, brawler. <laughs> Why? Spider and cockroaches, no? Uh, I'll just burn my house down. Uh, are you going to burn your house, Lou? You got spider yesterday, right? You you got handsman yesterday, <laughs> did you? <laughs> oh my goodness. I'm sorry, Lynette. You're right. I let my concerns get the better of me. Oh, Lina is very concerned for her, uh, for her, for his sister, Lina. Oh, and the next time you want to distract me, you should try a different approach. Mm. At least we get to see her in the hangout event. Yep. Who's this? You pick up a stray while I was gone? Uh, and this is Bonnie. It's a bit complicated. I'll explain later. Anyway, her name's Bonnie. I will if I found 100 <laughs> cockroach and spider. I see, I see. Well, if there are no objections, then I suppose the only thing left to say is... Lynette? Traveler? Welcome to the team. Alright, let's go team. Um, maybe I will just leave the house and go to somewhere else. It appears the Luffy Bear family is else. very particular in their use of insignias and emblems. The family would use different emblems to mark differences in status, blood relation, and the like. In fact, the insignia that was discovered on the pendant was used to represent an illegitimate child. So that would mean Pierre is a bastard child? It's highly likely. That very status might have been what allowed him to emerge from the fall of his family relatively unscathed. It would also explain why he was able to assume a new identity as a researcher with relative ease. Make spiders your friend? No. If it's very huge, a spider, the huntsman in Australia? No, no way. <laughs> we discovered something interesting, though. After talking to some of his co workers, it appears he pretty much works at the Institute in name only. He's practically been cast out. Oh, no, Brawler, it's very huge, spider. If you live in Australia like Lou, maybe you will. Um, you will be able to <laughs> to um, to see it. It's really huge, right, Lou? I just saw it online because I just joined a streamer last night and they shared about that. Apparently, Pierre was once addicted to synth. He tried to use the resources at the Institute to create a substance with a similar effect. He claimed it was just for research purposes. But the Institute revoked his access to the relevant materials regardless. He was placed on disciplinary leave, pending a thorough investigation of his actions. But it seems the Institute ran into some trouble along the way. Could have been a lack of personnel or a timing issue. In any case, they had to table their formal investigation into Pierre. Unfortunately, that also included reporting any relevant information to the higher authorities. <laughs> Are you watching spider videos at 2 a.m.? No! <laughs> no, I was I was watching a streamer and uh, somebody shared on the chat about the huntsman. She came from Australia also. As for his family background, it appears none of his co-workers at the Institute were aware of that information. All they could tell us was that he was quite the recluse. 
Did you find anything useful at his residence? Other than the pendant, we didn't find anything else of note at his residence in Poisson. Okay. Based on the samples of imitation synth we've been able to analyze, it appears the substance leaves behind strong traces wherever it's produced or stored. Those traces might not be obvious to the casual observer, but they're not something our guard poodles would miss. Pierre's home, though, came up completely clean. We didn't find any records indicating possible involvement in overseas transactions either. So, the Marachaussee Phantom didn't view him as a major suspect at first. Oh, you're watching Cleaning Rock at 2 p.m. or 2 a.m. Um, maybe it's 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 like an ASMR video, Cleaning the Rock, right? Because I I kind of watch those in, um by uh, TikTok, the ones they're, they're cleaning the carpet or rock. They're using heavy uh, what's that water hose for that. I'm not sure. Yeah, it's so satisfying. Aber simp. Yeah, I agree. Cause I kinda watch those also um, on TikTok. <laughs> hmm. Maybe he had a separate dedicated area where he made the imitation synth. Um, what time is it? Right now it's 7.37 p.m. in my time zone. Well, his neighbors did say he was often gone for long stretches of time. You would think with him out and about so much, people would have spotted him around Poisson, but residents said they barely ever saw him in town. Oh, satisfying video at midnight, it's different, yeah. Um, but I, I usually watch uh, another stream, <laughs> another stream and support them here on YouTube. Like last night, I joined somebody. Um, AM, oh, I see, 2 AM, yeah. If his reclusive nature was just a matter of keeping a low profile, I guess it would make sense for him to have a secret base to carry out his business. After he disappeared, the guards conducted a thorough search of Poisson, but they didn't come across any suspicious locations. Poisson. What is it, Lynette? You know Hotel de Boer, where I first found Bonnie? To get there from Poisson, you have to cross a stretch of ocean. It's not somewhere a cat could just wander off on its own. Oh yeah, you're correct. A cat? You mean... This cat, Bonnie. <laughs> Bonnie is Pierre's cat. Oh, that's right! When the Marachose Phantom first tracked him down, I remember there being something about a cat in their report. So this is her? No, oh, you're watching Minecraft versus real life? I see. How to correct messes up your relationship? <laughs> yeah, I guess so. If your girlfriend is real, mind that. <laughs> From what we've learned about Pierre's habits, he doesn't seem like the type to venture out without a purpose. So what you're saying, Lynette, is that Bonnie couldn't have gone missing in Poisson. If that's true, then... She must have wandered off only after Pierre brought her to his secret base. Exactly. Bonnie might even know where it is. You're lonely, Lou? No, why? It's okay, I'm lonely also, Lou, in real life. I'm just doing this online. <laughs> just kidding. But well, sometimes it's lonely. Um, it's okay, Lou. I, I, I feel for you. <laughs> that happens every time. Wait, you think the cat can lead us there? But she's not trained like one of our guard poodles. How is she supposed to understand what we want her to do? Maybe the cat is trained already. Lynette could give it a try. Or what is this? I can give it a go. <laughs> oh, are you going to say meow? <laughs> oh, maybe I will try this one. I can give it a go. Oh, okay. We'll do we're doing the cards here. Number 13. Alright. Hmm. Near the coast, the beach, and beneath the cliffs. The place we're looking for is most likely north of the Court of Fontaine. A brawler, come here? Let me make you meet some of my spider friends. No way, brawler, you have spiders in your house? Two real friends and 
way more more online friends no thanks <laughs> don't worry Lou I'm here for you yeah Lou don't worry but kinda yeah I relate for I relate to Lou um in real life you you're lonely <laughs> just online you're not lonely is it Lou I don't know but yeah real life my real life is also a bit lonely that's why I'm doing this I don't know <laughs> oh, okay Proler Lou, we are literally same. Way more online friends. Yeah, same. Yeah, me too. I have plenty of online friends than real life friends actually. So yeah, it's okay. We're all the the same boat here. Well, I've certainly never taken a witness statement like this before. <laughs> well, if it works out, maybe it's something worth getting used to. Cats and humans are actually pretty alike. When it comes to communication, most of what we want to convey can be accomplished through body language alone. Mm. But humans tend to rely too much on speech to ever take advantage of that fact. I don't know if it's introvert, um, cause I don't really have a lot of friends in real life. I don't know. What is real life? We are Genshin player. <laughs> yeah. Of course, Body language has its limitations. You're not going to be able to get across anything too complicated. The important thing is that we now have a lead. Let's try and find a place that matches the clues Bonnie gave us. Are you guys an introvert though? Because you, you, you have few uh, friends in real life? I don't know, but... Um, I have plenty online friends than real life. <laughs> I don't know why, but... Maybe because online I get to express more because you don't know me a lot, <laughs> right? So I, I can express more, but in real life, I, I'm i afraid to express more about myself. I need to trust that person or test first the person <laughs> uh, before I can open up about myself. I don't know if you do that, like that as well. I feel you, Lou. Actually, I'm emo in school. <laughs> oh, it's okay. <laughs> it's okay, average sim. Yeah. You're the weird kid in your class, Lou. It's okay, Lou. It's okay. We're all weird in different way, anyways. Okay, let's go check the suspicious location. <laughs> I guess we are all weird in in uh, in different ways, maybe. Okay, is it this one? Seems like Bonnie is trying to take us somewhere. Oh, okay, Bonnie. Wait, let me get this one. Oh. Gardamex ahead. Look oh. out! Solidify. Quiet now. I'm oh. not yet. Things uh, are about to get dicey. Halfway in this. Um, <laughs> the near base I I don't ha I'm not yet ha uh, halfway in the in this hangout right because I don't have the um, <laughs> that picture <laughs> the picture after you do the hangouts or something where where is it go near the base oh this one Wow Lynette you found this place so easily. If I thought there was any chance you'd say yes, I'd recruit you into the special patrol here and now. No questions asked. BRB, my bunny's running in my room. Wow, you have bunny? Wow, that's interesting, brother. You have bunnies. And spiders in your house. <laughs> Sounds familiar. I pretty much receive letters daily from people trying to poach her from me. I guess he has a pet bunny. Mm, let's just focus on our search. There's a lot to investigate. Nice. 
nice bunny, huh? Aha! Just as we thought. This is where the imitation synth was being made. Oh, each average synth in Asia, you have a pet also, bird? Wow, Megatron, is it a parrot or something? Or lovebirds? What kind of bird do you have? You guys have pets? Wow, I only have dogs here, but... Um, it's a house dog, so... <laughs> Oh yeah, Ilu has cats. Yeah, for sure you have cats. You have cat. Looks like he's got more than just imitation synths stashed around here. In addition to the raw materials needed to synthesize the substance itself, there's a large quantity of cleaning agents and a few drugs I haven't been able to identify. He is fat. Your ca your cat is fat. Oh, uh, don't worry. He will. He can protect you from the spider. <laughs> So, so it's okay <laughs> if he is fat. These cleaning agents are likely used to dispel traces of the substance, like its smell. You also have a fish, not nah, Is the cat going to eat the fish also? I don't know. <laughs> okay, wow, you have plenty of pets in your house. Oh, lovebird? So, if it's lovebird, then... There are two birds, or is it only one? If it's only one, then that bird will get lonely if it, he doesn't have another companion. La, la, um, love birds needs companions, right? I'm not sure. Because parrot, he ca um, it can be um, you can you can have one parrot, but for love birds, they need companions, right? They need to have their their ano uh, um it should be a couple right for love birds if you have love birds the I special don't know. patrol did some digging oh, into yeah. imitation synth our records indicate that it's very difficult for ordinary people to detect traces left behind by the stuff I'm sure that was the case for Pierre as well yeah two birds yeah maybe they are a couple. It must have taken a considerable amount of time and skill to ensure all those traces get washed away. Yeah, they get depressed when there's only one. They need uh, their some someone special. <laughs> I don't know. But what are these other drugs for? Oh, you have two catfish. Catfish, is it? Big fish? I don't know. Catfish? Oh, wow. Okay, Jimmy and Peanut. Their names. Oh, Lina is here also. Investigating Lina. What are you doing? Yes, Lina is, um, uh, his face. He has a charming face. Look at that. The eyes, you know. Oh, he's so cute. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's investigate. <laughs> let's, let's investigate Linus. Um, Linus face. <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> All right. The material these bags are made of, it's quite rare. Yeah, Lini got this. Doesn't look similar to the material used for your magic pocket? It's the very same, actually. Romaritime flower fiber. But there's something special about the composition of these bags. I took a closer look, and it appears they're not only waterproof, but also corrosion and leak resistant. No wonder. Brawler is a leany main, because he also likes Reese, you know? He, he wants Reese. He he went to <laughs> he went there is no wonder brawler is a leany main. Hmm. Even the strings look specially designed to keep the bags closed nice and tight. I came across some bags made of the same material just now, but they were much smaller and thinner. From the look of them, they seemed far less durable as well. So what? So kind of like one of those small seal. Very packs? similar, actually. Normally, it would be easy for a guard poodle to sniff out the imitation synth, but if it was sealed away in a bag like that, it might be possible to elude detection for some time. But what could these big bags be for, then? 
If the goal is to keep the imitation synth hidden and sealed away, these bags seem a bit too conspicuous. Alright, so we're not yet halfway in this hangout. Okay, we're going to investigate more. Mm, where is it? Here. When the Mar Shosei Phantom searched Pierre's house, there was no sign of these barrels, right? Oh, you didn't miss anything, brother. <laughs> Just kidding. Mm. You're right. That doesn't seem like his way of doing things. How did he get them here then? Yeah, my chat, I don't know. I'm using stream elements for that, but I don't know why it stopped. It's just for a minute and then it doesn't appear anymore. The recent shots, I, I'm not sure how to mm, fix that because I was just using the HTML one. I used the link um, from the stream elements and I don't know why. <laughs> it's, it's weird, I don't know. Proler me? <laughs> oh man, so we, we have Reese now here. Reese, Reese, um, Reese boy is here. Only the lower halves of the barrels appear to have been submerged in water. Based on the various ingredients we found, this appears to be where Pierre was cooking up his imitation synth. It looks like he used a special cleaning agent to get rid of any residual traces of the substance on his person before he left. That's how he was able to get past the guard poodles. That's why the Mar. Uh, what? How do you how do you pronounce this Mar Marek Chosi? I don't know. Phantom didn't find anything suspicious in his home. So then he transferred the imitation synth into small sealed bags, and took it somewhere else for the drop off. Oh, uh, hi, Don Mindfire. Hi, Genshin Boy. Oh, okay. All right. I will watch later your video. Yay. Oh, you guys, you, uh, Don Mindfire is also a streamer. Um, say hello. <laughs> uh, hi, Mandendra Sin. How do you pronounce your name? My device broke, so I am a mobile player. I'm also a mobile player. Um, have you tried switching or to other stream up? Um, only the stream chum gives me free streaming up for now. I tried what is that called stream labs but i don't know it crash it crash from time to time but this streaming up is fine so that's why i'm using it for um how long am i using it it's i am using it for um many months now i don't stream using laptop because um it's um it's not really <laughs> a good laptop my laptop hangs all the time no i don't believe our suspect is the kind of person who'd go around carrying incriminating evidence with him that would potentially create too many eyewitnesses uh, welcome to my stream man bendra the cleaning agent and the sealed bags might get past the guard poodles but if a member of the public or even a guard on patrol happened to see him during the drop-off a quick search would reveal everything. That's still a very risky operation. All right. The barrels we found were wet around the base, but the top half was dry. As if they'd been standing upright in the water. Hmm. Okay. If you put a barrel in the water, it will normally float on its side. Unless it's heavily loaded, in which case it'll sink. So he must have used something. Turning them into a airtight flotation. Yes. With flotation rings around the body of the barrels, they'd stay upright in the water. And then he could afford to load them more fully. Yours has loud fun? Yeah, mine too. It also has like that. Especially if I'm going to use it for Genshin or other games, it will be like that as well. So I'm using my iPad all the time for my games so i don't really have uh, no. i'm a more mobile player than pc player 
You think he used floating barrels? Hmm. I suppose if he acted at night, when there are very few other boats around and visibility is low, it's a valid theory. We can't rule it out. So the issue being a mobile player is the storage space because you have limited storage space and if you have full storage, the game crash also. So, yeah. Crawler, you say you can still use iPad to play but stream from laptop. Um, I don't know how to link that one. I really don't know how to do that. <laughs> But then, wouldn't the barrels be carried off by the waves or the currents? How would the person doing the pickup know where to look? Oh, maybe the bar barrels that could float away and get lost at sea? No? Traveler, can you come take a dip in the sea with me? I have a feeling that somewhere down there, we might find some rope. If a rope can be used to keep a pet from running away, yeah, okay. then... Why not a barrel? Oh, I see. OBS makes the life easy. Yeah, I heard OBS is a good stream app. Or stream... I don't know what you call that. But is it free? I don't know. Is it... Is it free? The OBS? Is it free? Because... I don't know. Some <laughs> streaming app, they cost some... I uh, know. They cost money. I don't know if it's free. Oh, it's free! I see. Well, maybe if I have laptop <laughs> or a PC. Because <laughs> right now, um, I'm doing the iPad when playing, so... This is we'll a see. place. Oh, the music the again. The wreckage of a small boat? It's all free. This isn't the place. Oh, this is not the place. Then where is it? Oh, this one here. What is this? Got it. Time to go up and report. Alright. Oh, you have two rabbits? Wow. How old are they? Is it a male and female rabbit? Talk to Lynette. As expected, we found a few pieces of rope and some anchoring stones underwater. If you attach them to a floating barrel, it would look like this. Oh, okay. With this anchoring system, it would be possible to use floating barrels for the drop-off. You would just need to drop them in the water at the agreed-upon location. We also came across the wreckage of a small boat. It must have been left out on the water and capsized due to the force of the wind and waves. Its small size, however, would have made it perfect for staying undetected. Oh, they have babies? Wow, give me some. Give me a, one of the babies. <laughs> Mail it to me here. <laughs> Let's talk Just this kidding. through. Based on the evidence we've collected, it seems like Pierre would row a small boat out to the agreed upon transfer point, drop off the barrels, leave, and then row back and retrieve them after the transfer was complete. Do I use such a convoluted drop off method? It could be that he was trying to avoid meeting up with his associate face to face. As one of the sole survivors of the Lafayette family, Maybe he was just used to that sort of elusive lifestyle. Is it hard to have a pet rabbit? It's hard to pet them in a city area. So they barely live in here. Oh, you you live in a city area, right? So what's their food? Do they eat grass? Grass or vegetable? Something like that? Your old friend has rabbit loo? It seems like Pierre deliberately chose the floating barrel method so that the goods could be dropped off and picked up at separate times. That way, the two parties wouldn't have to meet each other. Oh, she moved away. Well, if that's the case, they must not have a very close working relationship. 
Let's not jump to any conclusions just yet. Assumptions can be detrimental to solving a case. It's possible they were just trying to keep a low profile. Two boats sailing to the same location at once could be too conspicuous. The most important thing is that we can now confirm Pierre wasn't acting alone. The floating barrel drop-off system is proof enough of that. Let's say for now that he was only in charge of producing the imitation synth. That would mean there has to be at least one other person involved in the operation. Likely in charge of transporting the goods across the border. That explains why we could not, not find evidence linking him to any overseas operation. Since we've determined that the goods were transported by boat, maybe we can track down some travel logs or something. Mostly grass and vegetables peel, or mostly carrot. Oh yeah, carrot. Do say us when to swine taste the same as I remember. We can certainly check Aww. the various ports for that information. It's possible, however, that Pierre's associate also used a small boat for the transport and docked along the shore rather than at a large port. If that's the case, it's unlikely there would be any record left behind. Have you looked into the ports already? Absolutely. Before Pierre disappeared, we made sure to investigate all sorts of outward bound vessels. We also had port authorities keep a lookout for anything suspicious. All Unfortunately, right. We were never able to find out how they managed to get the imitation synth across the border. A small boat and a few barrels isn't going to get you very You're right. Far. Whatever vessel was used for the pickup, the person responsible for smuggling the substance out of Fontaine would have had to use a larger vessel for the actual transport. That's the only way they would be able to smuggle on a large enough scale to make a profit. They must have found a way to disguise the imitation synth to clear port inspections. We can still search for other clues. Exactly. We can't let any opportunities slip through the cracks. Although, given the amount of ports that could be involved, we should probably split up. Okay. I'll run home and ask some of my brothers and sisters to try and dig up some information. Can I go with you, Lini? <laughs> I should also head back and update my platoon on our progress. I'll grab some reinforcements while I'm at it. Lynette? Traveler? Why don't you head to Lumidus Harbor and see what you can find out? Can I go with Lini though? <laughs> Just kidding. All right. Come All on, Lani. Right. You too. Okay, it's Lynette's hangout. So I should go with Lynette. All right, let's go, Bunny. Okay, grass, green grass. Yeah, they eat green grass. I don't know if I will finish this today. Um, I really don't know. Okay. Maybe after this, uh, if I get the picture, you know, the picture, maybe I will do the event first because this might take time. Phew! Who is there? Oh, the guards. The guards are here. And the Melusine is here also. Oh, Lynette. Traveler. And Bonnie too. What brings you all here? Hmm? Did something happen? We're here to check the travel logs. Oh. I see. Thank you for everything you're doing for the people of Fontaine. We don't have grass here. They eat asphalt. Asphalt? Isn't the asphalt the one from the road? I don't know. Is it healthy to, <laughs> to eat those? All grass is burned to to the crisp here. This is turning into <laughs> Lini hangout. No, it's Lynette hangout. <laughs> oh, what are you doing here? I'm in charge of guarding the port. Oh, okay. I remember you this. You mentioned lady. you were after some travel logs, right? I can go fetch those for you. All right. Looks like I've got another hard day of work ahead of me. <sighs> it's okay. Chor cho Chori? Chori, are things are usually getting hectic around here? No, not usually. It's this incident that happened recently. Before that, everything was normal. All we had to do was confiscate anything suspicious and we could call it a day. Pretty simple stuff. But things are much more complicated now. We somehow let suspicious cargo pass through the port undetected. Not even our guard poodles were able to sniff it out. Even worse, we still don't know how the perpetrator was able to conceal the goods so well. 
By okay. suspicious cargo, do you mean imitation synth? Yep. However, prohibited substances are just one example. We confiscate all sorts of contraband during the course of our inspections. Or at least we're supposed to. Yeah, it's turning to Linel hang out, but it's Linet. <laughs> so what happens to the goods you confiscate? Oh, we keep them in a storage locker. If they turn out to be something particularly dubious, we'll turn them over to the Maison or de Lee. If the goods are only slightly suspicious but could otherwise be harmless, like raw materials that could potentially be used to create contraband, we return them to the ship they were confiscated from instead of letting them pass through the port. Yeah, I agree, Average Sim. It's kind of hard to pronounce Fontaine characters. Like New Billet. Is, does it does it sound right? New billet? I don't know. Sorry for the wait. These are the travel logs for all the recent activity at the port. And also Risley. Uh, I thought his name pronounced as Rio Tesli. I don't know, but it's Risley or what, what do you call that? Risley or Risley? Risley, yeah. Now only Forina is the easiest way easiest name to pronounce, I guess. Oh, you brought Gerard with you. Gerard? Uh, actually, he oh. followed me here himself. It's like he smells something on me. Oh, uh, they're, they're talking now? Huh. I wonder why Gerard is reacting to you two so strongly. Could it be because we just left the place where the imitation scene was made? Huh? We were so careful not to touch it, but we still ended up with traces on us. If it leaves a residue so easily, I just don't understand how the culprit was able to disguise the goods at all. Um, there, there's someone in Fontaine and their name is Grubble, Gr Gr Grubble in French, I see. When are you going to make a Discord server? I don't know. I'm not really active online though, as in, I'm not really active. Um, like if I make a server, how are you, how am I going to keep it, you know? So I'm not really active though. Rislet, new cake. Risley, yeah, it's supposed to be Why don't you have a look at the travel logs first? All ships coming in and out of the port are recorded here, except for the ones the port authorities ride to and from work. The Humane Society. We encountered that organization before, right? Their name is all over the exit logs. The purpose for leaving is always listed as overseas adoption. Just start it, it's fun. I do have a Discord account, but I uninstalled my Discord app because I'm not active. So how will I... <laughs> Do it. If Ari doesn't want to, <laughs> she doesn't have to. I don't know yet, but I do have a Discord account because I had a group um, before I play Kenshin. I, I played Roblox during the <laughs> pandemic, by the way, and I have a squad <laughs> um, in during the Roblox days that I play. And we have a Discord also, so, but right now, I'm not really active there anymore, so I uninstalled the, the Discord. Ah, the director of the organization explained that, actually. He said a lot of the cat and dog breeds unique to Fontaine are also very popular overseas. So, his organization offers an overseas adoption program. Now, how do you keep your server, like, active? <laughs> Bernard, the director of the Humane Society, was the man who came looking for Bonnie earlier. The cat that fled from Pierre looks like just the cat that the Humane Society is looking for. Okay, I Have don't you know. figured it out too, Traveler? The way the criminal disguised the goods. Okay, I don't know how long <laughs> will I, I finish this one. I I didn't didn't have the picture yet. 
when Bernard asked to take a closer look at Bonnie. He was actually checking whether there was any imitation synth in her stomach. Hmm, see. So, he was using the animals at his shelter then? <sighs> Wait, what? The sealed bags we found at the secret base. They were specially made to be corrosion resistant. So that they would not be digested? And there were gaps around the lids of the barrels, and airbags were used to keep them upright in the water. So that the animals would be able to breathe. Those drug shepherds found at the secret base. She most likely didn't recognize them because they're not used on human beings. It's an anesthetic used on pets. The perpetrator must have given it to the animals. You got Ito Average Slim? But is it accident, right? Why you press the wish button though? No, <laughs> do you have no self control? <laughs> Sometimes I don't have self control also, but yeah, I very seem. Why? Why did you press the wish button? Pierre must have made the animal swallow the sealed bags full of imitation synth at a secret base. Then he stuffed them into floating barrels and left the rest to Bernard. All right, Lou BRB. The sealed bags combined with an animal's body odor would certainly be enough to mask the scent of imitation synth. Oh, I also do like that upper seam. Yeah, it's like I have, like I have sixteen PT, and I just want to make it twenty, so I can. <laughs> yeah, I also do that. <laughs> but dang, you have Ito now. Now you're. The, are you guaranteed though when you have him? During our inspections. We would have never thought to inspect the bellies of those animals for anything suspicious. Even if we tried to feel around for something, I'm sure it would be difficult to detect. Exactly. I bet Bernard even transported animals with synth in their stomach alongside ones without. That way, it would be even harder to say with certainty that something was amiss. Do you think Bonnie could have imitation synth in her stomach? Mm, she's probably in the clear. Otherwise, Bernard would have never left without her. I'm guessing he didn't know whether Pierre had already hidden the next batch of imitation synth before he fled. Uh, you are in your 50-50. Uh, You're not guaranteed. So I guess that's okay. I'm not sure. But if you don't like to... Uh, if you, you're wishing for other character, then that's not okay. <laughs> what pity... What pity you got, Ito? Just imagine. He sees the notice we put in the Steambird, and it turns out that one of the very cats he gave to Pierre for the smuggling operation is out in the open, roaming the streets of Fontaine. Uh, yeah, you need Onikabuto for him. If Pierre had already hidden the next batch of imitation synth, then Bonnie would practically be living proof of their crimes. He would have had no choice but to go after her. So, that's why he came to find you, and insisted on taking a closer look at the cat. The fuck is probably what spared Bonnie. Ah, uh, wait a second, I'm a little lost here. I get the part about hiding the substance in the pets, but those, uh, what did you call them again? Floating barrels? Why even put the animals in there in the first place? Oh, 13 PT, then maybe that's a win? I don't know, but it's very early PT, so I guess it's okay. <laughs> I don't know. Do you do you want Ito though? But if you will build Ito, you probably need to build a team for him also. You know, if you're going to use Ito, because they say y you need to have Garu in his team and also other um, Geo, something like that. I'm not sure, but Garu must be there <laughs> in his team. If you've got something as convenient as a floating barrel, why not just stuff it with the imitation synth directly? Why not wait to hide the stuff until after the exchange has been made? Oh, oh, you were guaranteed. I see. Now you're not guaranteed for Arle. I see, I see. In order to make sure the animals could swallow the sealed bags, they made them extremely thin. Had they not done that, the animals would have likely bitten or chewed through them. Uh, they also need uh, cleaning, lots of cleaning agents. That step would have required a lot of energy. 
as well as a certain amount of technical expertise. So, it was better left to the more experienced Pierre. We've already proven how easy it is to pick up trace amounts of imitation synth, so I'm sure Bernard was taking all the precautions he could to avoid the same fate. Okay. Then, let's head to the Humane Society right away and bring that guy to justice. I'll bring a Gardamech to speed up the process. Okay, I, I'm not sure where I am in the Hangouts right now. Where can I see the um, check plan? Okay. Oh, I see, I see, I see. Okay, so, so I chose the longest one, I guess. I'm not sure. Okay. Wanna come over for Hi, Blue. Welcome back. Uh, Aber seem pulled for Ito. Um, now he's not guaranteed for Arlequino. Arlequino or Lechino? I don't know how to pronounce Arle. I just, I just say Arle. <laughs> uh, the or father. Father is the easiest way to say it. Father, not. <laughs> Thank you. The headquarters of the Humane Society should be somewhere around here. Bernard could show up any moment now. Ah, here are the people from earlier. Wait, you're from the guards? After him! We can't let him get away! Okay, let's do this. Let's use Nina's skill. Okay. Alright. Give it up, Bernard. Hello, Proler. Welcome back. Still suffering in H. Oh, why are you suffering? Why? <laughs> oh, Lou, you hate and love it's just H. Uh, Honkai Star Rail. I love right now. Right now, I love playing Honkai Star Rail because of Ben upon emission. <sighs> mercy, have mercy. I'll talk. I'll tell you everything I know. The Humane Society has done so much good over the years, and yet you have committed such an atrocious deed in its name. <sighs> Look, now I didn't have a choice. Up, okay. No? My father cared about those blasted animals so much, he didn't bother to take care of his human wife and son at all. While those animals were showered with love, I lived worse than a dog. Oh no, Bernard, that's sad for you, but you don't need to do that for the animals. No, that's not good. That's not a good revenge for your father. No one asked. Tell me, how did you first get to know Pierre? What is Penaconi? Uh, it's a new, new planet. What do you call? Yeah, it's like new, new area. Yeah, I think it's Philippines. Penaconi. Um, where where are you now in HSR Proler? Cause we are now in Penaconi. With um, Acheron, Adventurine, you know. Well. After I took over the Humane Society, it gradually became harder and harder to maintain its operations. Until one day, someone suddenly passed me a letter. Are you a new player in HSR? It said that I could stand to get a large sum of money as long as I helped them to transport some animals abroad. It was only after a few such transports that I finally understood what I was really transporting. But then, Pierre wrote to me. Saying that we were already partners in crime and that I better keep cooperating with him if I didn't want to be reported to the guards. Oh, you you keep winning, Lou. I, I wish I was like that. I, I lose three times, but now my luck is back. Because I won three times in a row right now, I think. I won Black Swan, Sparkle, and then... Oh, four times now. Acheron. I won two times Acheron, by the way. So I have her E1. Penakon ni Cebu? <laughs> no. Uh, if you play HSR in the early game, I mean, if you are in uh, Bellabok and then also in Shansu, maybe the, the story is not really that 
you know, I don't know, very hooked. I was very hooked when we came to Penaconi, and now I'm fine. <laughs> I'm I'm playing HSR. I'm enjoying it. You knew it from the very beginning, didn't you? The reason why you had to go through so many steps just to transport some animals. Oh, wh which which part of the what part of the main quest are you now, Prowler? Are you still in, um, like Herta or Herta space, uh, spaceship or in Belobog or Shanzu or are you in Penakoni? For sure, you're not yet in Penakoni because you asked what is Penakoni, right? So, uh, what place are you now? I'd suggest that you confess everything right now if you don't want to add anything else to your list of crimes. Yeah, I got even um, Akero and I I tried pulling because I want to have Kalaker's uh, e uh, cons, but I <laughs> I got Akero early, 5 pp, so E1, she's E1 now. Dream Edge? Oh, you're in Penaconi then? Yeah, the Dream Edge quest, the one you have to do with the bubbles, I don't know. Um, and the Dream Edge quest where there is creepy sound. <laughs> Are you in that quest right now? There's creepy sound and there's a uh, scrape as you go. <laughs> it's kind of creepy, but uh, you can do it, I guess. <laughs> yes, officer. I would order wooden barrels and flotation devices according to his instructions and then load the sleeping animals onto a boat. Once I sailed to the location he provided, I would dump everything together into the sea. Um, which part of the quest are you now? Did you meet... Uh, um, did you meet... Whoa, who's that? Um, Firefly? Or Sam? Did you meet Sam already? Sam? And a few days after that, I'd come by again in my boat and pick up the animals sleeping in the barrels. Once I had received enough of them, I'd bring them to the harbor to be adopted abroad. Oh, you're in 79 PT now, Lou? That guy, Pierre, he was running the entire show. He set up all the meeting times and found all the foreign adopters. Oh, oh and he even supplied all of the goods, too. I just did the transport. He was the one who planned out and executed everything else. You met Farfly Prowler, but did you encounter her? Like, I mean, um, okay, maybe Sam. Did you meet Sam already, Sam? Look, I don't know, okay? I've never ever met him in person. We've only ever communicated through letters. Oh, you don't play HSR, ever seem, I see. And when did he send his final letter to you? J just last night, he said that the Marshalsea Phantom is now after him, so he's planning to go into hiding for some time. He didn't mention where he's thinking about going, though, B but he did tell me to look out for the guards. The main quest? You mean the the Trailblazer mission? Yeah, I already did that yesterday. Was it yesterday or the other day? Maybe on Thursday? I Yeah, I completed the main quest already about you know yeah adventuring it's been a few days since pierre's last appearance i'd wager and that he sent that letter and, after yeah. he found his hiding spot the main the main quest the recent main quest is really good um there's sad uh, scenes with adventuring that is really good with Akaron and the last part and you will get to know who is sam you will get I, to know who is I sam burned them. it was on his orders i had to burn every letter after reading them I, I wasn't even allowed to share them with the rest of the society employees sam will reveal his identity to you at the end of the main quest sure sounds like you're trying to use the lack of witnesses or evidence to pin the blame on pierre no, I swear, this time I'm only telling you the truth. You're telling the truth? Nothing but the truth? Well, we can check the truth of your statements at the Opera House. 
I hope you know what'll be coming for you if I were to find any discrepancy between the evidence and the testimony you just gave. Yeah, it, it was kind of shocking, but um, about Sam, I was not really shocked because some of the players already guessed who he is. So I was not really shocked, but yeah, it's shocking to know that, wow, this is Sam. Okay. <laughs> I know, I know, I swear I was just telling the truth. But what um, the the main quest for me is about adventuring, you know. His it was uh, his story, his POV is in the main quest. You get to know him more, and I w I felt sad for him. I cried by the way <laughs> during the the main quest for him. His story is a bit sad. <sighs> My thanks to you both. Had it not been for you. I really don't know what would have happened to this case. Bonnie helped, too. <laughs> That's true. It was all thanks to her that Bernard was finally exposed. Okay, I'm not halfway yet in this hangout, and it, it's one <laughs> and it hour And it looks early. like she's grown quite fond of you two as well. <sighs> then I'll leave you be. Just let me know if you find any other new leads. Alright. <sighs> Okay, can you give me the picture for first picture? No, we're not yet done. I guess we have to. What is this? Oh, okay. Hmm. Should I pull Akaron? Yeah, she's so cool. She's so cool. Akaron is so cool. Um. Uh, you're in adventure in POB now, Lu. I'm playing Genshin and we're talking HSR now. <laughs> Something on your mind still, didn't it? Huh. It was that obvious, huh? Yeah. Well, even though it didn't feel like Bernard was lying, after talking to him, I'm getting an even stronger sense that something's not quite right. Uh, Akarin is really good brawler, I assure you, but you have to have a team that gives debuff for her. Because her burst will pop up if there's plenty of debuffs on the enemies. So you have to use Bella or Silver Wolf or even Gwenaifen. But she's really cool in her ultimate, as in, she's really cool. We investigated so quickly that perhaps we've missed a thing or two along the way. Let me activate deduction mode and consider things again from the top to see if we can find anything new. Oh, you got Jin Yuan last, last patch? Is there still anything unresolved or strange that we should try to consider? What about... Um, about what we found in Foyzan? Foyzan? The Mara Chaussee Phantom found Bonnie and the Lefevere pendant at Pierre's residence. That was the beginning point of our investigation. Oh man, we're in doing investigation now. What? Why is Pierre suspect? Maybe this one. I don't know. Aber Sim. Oh, you're not playing HSR then. We're talking about uh, Honkai Star Rail. It's uh, another Hoyo Burst game. I don't know what to do here. I <laughs> I don't know what to do here. Oh uh, no. Okay, this one. All right. I don't know. I'm just going to click anything here. Uh <laughs> Oh my goodness. This one. Why would he leave such an obvious trail for us to follow when he took so much care to not leave any traces of imitation synth in his home? About Bernard's letter. Bernard claims to have received a letter last night from Pierre. In the letter, Pierre stated that he had gone into hiding. Is there something wrong with the letter? Uh, you don't know about the uh, how to play HSR. It 
it's a turn-based game so you have to make sure in your team you have a healer or shielder cause it's a turn base. You cannot dodge the attack from the enemies. If it's en the enemy's turn, you have to receive their attacks. <laughs> but if it's your turn, then you have to attack more to the enemies. <laughs> Something like that. Um, it has story also. And Acheron, who is the in the latest banner right now, is the Raiden um, A... Uh, HSR version, you know, Raiden HSR version or Raiden me, I guess There's no need to rush. Let's see if we can find any other suspicious points about this case. Oh, you press everything? <laughs> I don't press everything. Well, we've discovered that Bernard is responsible for the trafficking, while Pierre deals with supplying the goods. Is there something else in this scheme that we're missing? At first, it's kind of confusing game, but... As you go and play, you'll get to understand the game. Uh, what hooked me the game is the Pentagon mission. I was just there, um, just doing the uh, like dailies and resins and then lock out, just doing that. But now I'm very hooked. <laughs> okay, I don't know what I'm doing here, but I'll just click anything, <laughs> oh, what whatever here this is. <laughs> I'm very sorry, Lynette. Okay. There's no need to rush. Ah, okay. Let's see if we can find any other suspicious points about this case. Are oh, you doing Dream Ticker Puzzle? Is it the the clock one? Brawler? Is it the clock one? It's 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 kind of tricky, but it's easy, I guess. Oh, you are now. In adventuring POB Lu, I guess, and you have to to use adventuring, right? His his basic attack is very cool. I keep spamming his basic attack. Um. Yeah. Okay. Oh, now you're in Pentagon mission. Then and follow me to the interrogation room. Um, brawler, you you're in Pentagon mission. Oh, that hurt. Ow. Okay, I'm, I'm taking long with Lynette's quest uh, now. Okay, I'll just... Do this. 16? Oh, 21. Alright. Oh, you like his design? Uh, yeah. Is there... Huh? Oh my goodness, I press. I see. It all makes sense now. Hey, what are you talking about? <laughs> Look. Even our confessed criminal here has no idea what you're saying. I, I like adventuring story. I was really touched by the story. <laughs> because he has been kept in the dark all along. And I assume it's the same with Pierre. I think you're still far, brother. I think you're still far from the quest. Uh, to, to finish the quest. <sighs> That never quite added up for me. Why did Pierre feel compelled to return to his home with Bonnie and the Pendant and make them so easy to find for the Marachose Phantom? Both of these things are in stark contrast to his usual meticulous and vigilant behavior. There's only one reasonable explanation. He was following orders, just like Bernard. He probably received the following instructions right before the Phantom came knocking on his door. Bring the cat and the pendant, and our undercover agent will be sure to help you. Unbeknownst to him, however, the third person who wrote that letter to him had long decided to sacrifice him and Bernard to save themselves. <laughs> they have Raiden me, Raiden me, so I guess he's Raiden I. Mm, I guess so. <laughs> What? You can't be serious. 
There was a third person involved? Uh, which part of the quest are you now, Prowler, though? You get cheats from doing the clap puzzle, I think. If you focus only on Bernard's testimony, it's easy to believe that only Bernard and Pierre were working together. The case appeared extremely simple. Bernard did the trafficking, Pierre the imitation synth production, drugging, and stuffing. Um... Wait, is that... There is a new um, event, the drinking thing. You make a drink for the uh, robots, enemy robots, and you get 80 jades from that uh, event. Like, there's plenty of 80 jades, 80 jades uh, as you do the tasks on the drinks. But you have to do the main quest, you have to finish it so you will be able to unlock the event. If you can see, what, what is that name? It's like in a cup, something like that. W wait, but that doesn't make any sense. If that's the actual truth, then as soon as Pierre is caught, he will explain his side of the story and the third person will... A uh, screenshot of the quest you are now? Oh, I don't know where you can send that now, though. Yep, which is why the third person made sure that Pierre would never be found again. Maybe you can send a link. Maybe you can send a link here. Or a link to the uh, comment on the live, live stream here. Then maybe we can press the link and... Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> Once they had instructed Pierre to expose himself, the third person wrote to Pierre again, suggesting that everything had been taken care of, and he should take Bonnie and safely return to his base. You're trying to show the quest you are now? Of course, Pierre's disappearance at such a sensitive time immediately made him a prime suspect. Knowing that Bonnie had last been seen with him, all the third person would have to do from that point on would be to lead the Phantom to investigate the Humane Society and get Bernard to confess the truth. Okay, Bernard will then testify that Pierre was one of who came up with the wolf. Wait, so you're saying that the letter I received yesterday, the one that made me think Pierre was still alive, it was also sent by the third person? I think so. Is... Is that what happened? <laughs> I'll get back to headquarters right away and reinvestigate this case from the top. Not so Shelvra fast. said that assumptions can be detrimental to solving a case. Someone among us, however, has been feeding us all kinds of preconceived notions ever since our first meeting. They suggested that Pierre's disappearance was an attempt to escape the judgment of the law, and that Pierre was a scion of the Lefebvre family. But if the disappearance is truly just a cover-up for a murder, then couldn't the true scion have been an illegitimate daughter? Rather than an illegitimate son? He's Elodie Lefebvre? Huh? <laughs> I wasn't thinking anything so I can read your mind what's going on. Really, brother? Haven't you taken this joke a bit too far? <laughs> You're right. I did let a lot of assumptions get to my head when I first started to talk to you about the case. I'll make sure to correct my behavior. Brother, you are <laughs> savage now nah, about the spiders. <laughs> no way. <laughs> you deliberately fed us lies, but even you could not control every last detail of your plan. There was a flaw in your scheme, and something didn't quite go as planned. No more spiders, brother. <laughs> Getting the Marjose Phantom to notice Pierre was only the first part of your plan. Had they failed to take notice of the Humane Society, they could have cast a wider net. And you couldn't predict what they might possibly find, if given enough time. This, of course, was the main weakness of your plan. It became even harder to control the outcome of the investigation. As someone accustomed to acting from behind the scenes, you didn't want to take the risk of personally proposing a raid on the Humane Society. So, you thought about pulling a few more strings, so all of the suspicion would point towards Bernard and his society. Okay. Once the Phantom expanded their search, it would only be a matter of time before they found Pierre's base. If a cat last seen with a suspect turned up dead at the imitation synth base, 
It wouldn't be long until the Phantom would figure out exactly how she had been mistreated and turn their eyes towards the one organization that has been sending boatloads of animals out of Fontaine. Mm, Bonnie wants to skip in the chaos. It was probably during your ambush of Pierre. You didn't even have the time to check if she had already been stuffed full of imitation synth. <laughs> Prowler is risk boy, uh, Lu. <laughs> I don't know. Um, oh, Ito is good for you, Abel Sim. Then that's great. That's great if you like to use him. Um, so you 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 can you can use him with Geo team, I guess. Prowler is very ano. Uh, <laughs> Prowler, you're. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> He's just joking, Lou. <laughs> oh, you're thinking about your cat? Still, Let's you see. soon found another opportunity. Before long, Bonnie had made her way back into the city and even popped up on the steam bird. Think about you, brother. <laughs> like oh Bernard, you desperately wanted to confirm the contents of her stomach, <laughs> so you hurried to find us. Unlike you Bernard, guys. however, you were hoping that Pierre did have the time to make her swallow a load of imitation synth. You guys love... <laughs> I go. Now, now what, dude? Should you think about Roller or Albert Sim? <laughs> They're just joking, Lou. <laughs> While investigating the suspect's cat, we unexpectedly discovered that the suspect has been smuggling imitation synth using living animals as intermediaries. That was your plan, in any case. With that, you'd have been able to lead the investigation towards the Humane Society. You're acting like my friend. <laughs> oh, what's going on, guys? <laughs> but Bonnie was very lucky. Bonnie had managed to escape before Pierre was able to stuff her full of imitation synth. That part of your plan could no longer be carried out. But as shrewd as you were, you came up with another plan right Louis away. We are your friends. <laughs> Uh, be killed, yeah. He manipulated the Traveler and I to help you identify Bernard as a key suspect. You use the Lefebvre name as bait to get us to join your investigation. With two extra bodies around, the Special Patrol is sure to soon take note of the strange event of Bernard somehow having a reason to look for Pierre's cat. You guys... <laughs> <laughs> Do not make Lou mad or something. <laughs> Lou, they are just joking. <laughs> <laughs> so, what you're saying is, I went to all that trouble just for the chance that you might put forth the suggestion that would lead you down the wrong path. Of course, you did far more than that. Just now at Lumidus Harbor, were you not the person who highlighted the suspicious activities of the society? Now we are in Reese mode. Ch chat is in Reese mode now. Ugh. You even highlighted the society's activities during your compilation of the logs, so they'd be immediately visible to anyone examining the records. Moreover, the logs contained no records of the Port Authority's activities. In other words, your activities. And what are you trying to suggest with that? I am insinuating that you had plenty of opportunities to transfer the raw materials for imitation synth from the harbor to a boat, and then sail over to the meeting place full of floating barrels. I never been to London. I also never been to London. What you? S <laughs> what are you talking about, brawler? <laughs> And that's how neither the trafficker okay, nor the manufacturer knew there was a third person who supplied the raw materials and surreptitiously operated between them. I don't know how long this hangout will be. Pierre manufactured imitation synth using the raw materials you provided, stuffed the animals, and placed the animals back into the barrels. Having received the green light from you as Pierre, Bernard then retrieved his animals and shipped them out of Fontaine once he had received enough for a full batch. 
This is the truth behind your smuggling ring. Yeah, this chat is crazy. No, it's in Riz mode right now because we have the Riz King here, Brawler, aka Brawler the Riz King, I guess. I can't believe it. <laughs> I never put two and two together. And also, our sim is also in Riz mode. Also, I thought it's it's just Brawler who is the Riz King here. We all have also another one. <laughs> You've sure got an extremely lively imagination. So what do you think she's going to say next? Even ever thought about a career in writing crime novels? Ever thought about a career in writing crime novels, huh? Mm-hmm. <laughs> it appears that it's quite easy to predict what you'll think or say. Then if we apply that to this case, we can also think of a few places to look for incriminating evidence. Oh, you... Brawler, you are in the shoot... Sh there is a shooting star, sir. You are with Firefly then, right? You are with Firefly and there's a song in the background. That is home music in the background? What is that, upper steam? You know very well that this case will not end until Pierre is found. So you will have him commit suicide out of fear and shame to end the investigation for good. Okay, so that is that quest is from 2.0. But you, we have also the new main quest that is in 2.1. So you are still kind of far away from finishing the, the recent quest. Because you are f uh, doing the 2.0 main quest or main story that way you can also pin the blame for the overseas smuggling activities the theft of the harbor's confiscated raw materials and even the lefevere name on him after all dead men tell no tales but you still wanted to appear as if he had sent that last letter to bernard so you have to make sure he cannot be found until after bernard has confessed to the authorities <laughs> The chat is like your class crazy and raising people up, yeah. Because brother, aka the Riz King, is here, Lou. Yeah. <laughs> to do that, you either will hide his body until you found an appropriate time to set up a fake suicide scene, or you'll dump it someplace where it'll be hard to determine the exact time of death. Submerged in water, for instance. Yeah, I know you were just kidding, guys. They're just kidding, Lou. The location would ideally allow you to keep the body hidden for some time while also letting you keep an eye on it. Okay, I'm not done yet. In <laughs> there are only so many options to hide a person's time of death, after all. As long as the Phantom investigates each of the possibilities in turn, they'll surely find Pierre's remains. Especially since... As the prime suspect who will now be taken into custody, you will no longer have the time to move him or set up a fake suicide scene to cover up the murder. How absurd. And on what How grounds absurd. will you order my arrest? Don't think for what a second that your spout of you nonsense will amount to arrest? any kind of real argument. After all, I'm... Elodie Lefebvre! Oh, Jeb Bruce is here. You guys are using Kaya Riesling speaker, huh? <laughs> In the risk is not yet the end here. Still continue, huh? As the captain of the Special Security and Surveillance Patrol, I hereby declare you as a suspect in the case. If you have any objections, you may raise them later during interrogation. I see. Hangout takes two hours then. You're here too? No, oh, Chebrus, Lini. Lini is here. The risk. Chris King is here. Hey, brother, your main is here. Both of you. That's right. Chris we received a message from Lumidus Harbor that you were going to investigate the Humane Society. We didn't expect to run into you at such a critical moment. My goodness, what are you guys doing in the chat? What chat is that? <laughs> While at the harbor, we noticed something else extremely interesting. Apparently, you often used all kinds of excuses to swap your shifts. Oh man, you're using Kaya's raising sticker. If I, if I'm, I have the budget to put stickers for my chat, I will do this for you guys. Then I will use that. <laughs> but now I don't have budget for stickers, so <laughs> so you will just 
do like that. Asteris Kaya racing sneaker. And if one were to match the times there of your go. shifts to the activities of the Humane Society and those of certain foreign ships, they'd find them to be an exact match. Not really, but Lou. <laughs> Are you gonna explode? No, don't don't explode, Lou. <laughs> that that's just a coincidence. Yes, I'm sure you have already thought of a dozen different ways to explain away the suspicious activities. But as far as evidence goes, that should be enough to warrant taking you into custody. So we are now in... the chat is in race mode now. Don't worry. If it turns out that the guards are still unable to find any evidence after all this, Lynette and I will do everything in our power to clear your name. I guess... I guess it relates to... To the story now we have Lini here, the Reese guy, so yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness, brawler Abers Abers Reese in Asia. Oh my goodness. <laughs> You're kidding, right? <laughs> Although judging by her reaction, I, I assume no follow up from us will be needed. Okay, Lou. See you. <laughs> I the Lefevers were infamous for using disguise and infiltration to achieve their goals. Who would have thought that they would have planted someone within the guards? <laughs> I go, you guys. All right. <laughs> oh my goodness. Judging from the timeline, they likely arranged for you to enter the guards before the fall of the clan. Other but they probably didn't Asia, expect you to turn it to your advantage or and use your job to save learn. yourself during the purge. Not only that, but you actively participated in the interrogation, arrest, and judgment of the Lefevers during their fall. Thus clear, you brutally Oops. and cruelly abandoned your allies as soon as they outlived their usefulness. Just like a lizard cutting off its own tail in order to live. You've been doing this for years. Just like a lizard cutting off its own tail in order to live? Wow, that that description is huge, na, Chabrus. So, so you played me like a fool after all. Yeah, the quest are you, that you, you're talking the quest you are doing in Honkai Star Rail or the the <laughs> hangout quest? <laughs> what was that word you used? Ally. You think that someone as foolish as him is worthy to call himself my ally? Hello, Azina. We are in Reese mode here, so be careful for the Reese king here. Just kidding. Hello, Reese. Azina, welcome to my stream. I am just a side quest brother. Oh, man. Brother, you, you made a bird's team a side quest? They were worthless scum. All of them. Not just Bernard and Pierre. But those Lefevers too. They always just saw me as a tool. Oh my goodness, Prowler. Hello, Azina. <laughs> you will make um, her to a main quest. I lost all my chances of a normal life just because I was born into their lot. Not only that, but because they wanted me to become an undercover agent, they stripped me of my name too. Yeah, this chat looks crazy, Azina. I had to live in constant fear of them while they were alive. And even once they were gone, I had to continue to bury my heritage in my name. Always worrying that their enemies would come knocking at the door. There are two Riz, Riz um, player here, Prowler and Abersim. Do you know anything about what I've been through over all these years? My life as the last love bear. Oh, sorry about this, LOD. I don't, and neither do I care. No. <laughs> wow, <laughs> holy net. <laughs> I want to hear that again. I don't, and neither do I care. Wow, slay. <laughs> I don't, and neither do I care. When when there's someone is. Uh, making a drama, you say, I don't, and neither do I care. <laughs> okay, no one asks about your past. <laughs> okay, I will, I will just, 
<laughs> oh man, poor Elodie. We're we we don't care about her past anymore. <laughs> are you? Are you for real? Aren't you a love affair victim too? Oh man, I would prefer not to. <laughs> Ignore the chat. Come and join my side quest. Elodie. You're the only one still living under the shadow of a name. Um, Lou probably is somewhere. That's enough. Keep your hands where I can see them and do not resist arrest. If you have more to say, save it for the interrogation room. What a joke. <laughs> what a joke! <laughs> hey! Do what is this? Don't come any closer. What's that? Know what this is? <laughs> I've oh, secretly man. planted loads of explosives in the Humane Society. Just one step closer and... This LOD is crazy, no? It's going to have explosives here. Whether they're cats, dogs, or just unlucky human employees. Look at her eyes. <gasps> they'll all be blown up into smithereens. Her eyes. <laughs> Oh, hi, Lou. You're back. Welcome back. My HSR never gonna complete like this. <laughs> yeah. Surely, you bunch of goody two-shoes won't let that happen, right? <laughs> okay, what will I do here? Assist Lini in deceiving Elodie. Launch a sneak attack on Elodie while she's distracted. Help Chapter's intimate Elodie. Try to convince Elodie to surrender. Maybe this one. Try to... Co to surrender. Mm. I I hope I win here. It's a oh, I failed. And now what to do? Oh, just calm down for a minute here. That's enough. I have nothing left to say to any of you. Gardamex, get him. No. Not good. She's trying to escape. We need to end this fight as you soon as possible. You can fight here. Uh, there's we're in the city. Oh, they they make a shield pick or something so you cannot go away. All right then, I will fight. Strike a pose. No civilians will harm because they put a shield. I Bust guess. it. <laughs> All right, what is up in the chat? Bust it so quickly, huh? Good thing I've already bought enough time to escape. Ah, uh, there you're still continuing with your race mode. Ah! <laughs> Prowler, what what kind of chat is that? My life was incomplete without you. I finally found you. Guys is scared the new person away. <laughs> yeah. This is too crazy. I'm gonna go. <laughs> Yeah, they scared Azina. Now he, she's not here. <laughs> oh, man. Phew. So I was right after all. It's easier to deal with the person causing the problem than the problem itself. You know, what about that device she had? This is it. Looks like it's just a toy. Oh, I see. Guess that's probably why she suddenly flipped and knocked out Bernard. He probably knew that there were no explosives at the society. As if she had no choice but to kill to escape her life. Well, given that she never even showed her face to Bernard and Pierre, I had my doubts that she'd have gone to the society in person to plant explosives. Poor Azina. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you for your help, everyone. I'll take them back for thorough questioning and find someone better to take over the Humane Society. I might need a few statements from everybody. Would you be able to come with me? Sure. Uh, if oh. statements are all you need, can Lenny provide them on my behalf? I see. I still need to go back and explain some things to the crew. I also had an appointment with the Traveler before we got interrupted. You mean when you said I could stop by your place? Ah, so you do remember. Oh, okay. Yes, I invited you to come over to our place. Yay, we, we will go to Lynette's place Once then. I'm done talking with the troop, I'll make a nice cup of tea and bring Bonnie to wait for you outside of my door. All right, Lynette. Hi, Zora. Welcome to my stream. 
Okay, my my chat is in risk mode, Zora. So beware, beware of the risking in this chat. Oh, okay. Okay, I get to see Lin Lini again here. Look at that. She has charming, has charming face. Look at that. His eyes, you know, it's very beautiful, right? Hmm, it's blinky. <laughs> Just kidding. Okay. Yeah, don't scroll up for your ano uh, safety, Sora. Don't scroll. <laughs> okay, let's go to Lynette. Oh, I want to hear what they're talking. You must have spent a record-breaking amount of time in serious mode today. I can't remember the last time I've seen you like this. Is it because of a special someone? Mm, there, there are still a few things I'm curious about. Hmm. Based on information that we found before, Imitation Synth was first circulated on a small scale in Fontaine before becoming a large-scale smuggling scheme. I'd assume that the first offerings of Imitation Synth came from what Pierre made in his early days. But since he was not experienced with running a clandestine operation, he was soon discovered by guard Elodie. Elodie saw the opportunity to make a great profit in his work, and perhaps even the chance of making a new life for herself, so she decided to cover his tracks. She started writing to him in Bernard's name, using what evidence she had compiled and the promise of enormous profits to blackmail him into cooperating with her. Unfortunately for her, she ran into Lynette. Even though my sister doesn't like to focus too much on a regular day, serious mode Lynette is one of the most perceptive people I've ever known. Okay. Oh, Ito just called me Sir. Yeah, I think it's one of his idol animations. Still, all of that thinking really saps her energy. I need to go give some statements on her behalf, so I'll leave the recharging to you. Um, is the chat safe? The safe chat brawler? <laughs> Don't scroll up for your safety. Yeah. Hello, do hello, hello, bye. Bye, or Genshin Boy, aka Don Mindfire. Welcome back. Uh, Don Mind Fire is also known as Genshin Boy from the chat last time, Lou. Um, he has, yeah, he, he has uh, two, two accounts, I guess. Okay, let's go to the Steambird. Oh, it's it's one hour, uh, it's two hours in, and I'm still here. <laughs> I need to do the event, the, the combat event. The one you take pictures while fighting. Oh, no, not here. We charge with Lynette. We charge with Lynette here. Here. All right. We will have hung out with Lynette and the cat. Yeah, Genshin boy. Hmm. Black tea and a cute kitty. Truly the best combo for standby mode. Want some? Uh, a cup of tea, please. Mm-hmm. I hope you'll like it. Are you not interested in any follow-up developments from it? Not at all. Information is indeed very important. But if you were to try to collect every piece of information you come across, your efficiency would actually decrease. Oh, your chat account is Genshin Boy, I see. Plus, if you just think about it, what sounds more fun? Writing a statement or enjoying a tea party? A tea party will do. Great answer. That'd be my pick too. Yeah. Had we not run into that case, you're Oops. right. I can sense it. I'm recharging very quickly at the moment. Mm, I still have a question though. Hmm. Something about her rubbed me the wrong way since the very beginning. But to be more precise, it was probably around the time when I saw Bonnie try to get away from her. I'm lazy to switch account, I see. Elodie tried to get close, but Bonnie deliberately dodged her. Maybe Bonnie had tried to evade her before at Pierre's base. Or perhaps Bonnie just instinctively knew that she wasn't a good person. Not everyone who likes cats is a good person. But if cats like you, you're probably all right. Not everyone who likes cats is a good person, I see. But if cats like you, you're probably all right. Okay. Humans tend to overthink things, but cats rely on their instincts, and they're pretty sharp. I mean, 
Just look at Bonnie. She took a liking to you the moment you met. Let me see. Okay, we're done. Yay! All right, we're done. Okay, your story has come to an end for now. Okay, but I think it's not yet because you need... Um, I don't know how many... I, I don't know where to go here, I guess. Um, check the plan. Oh, I, 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 I just have one hangout memory. Still need to do the four, the other four. But I will pause for now because I need to do the um this event. I didn't do this yet, so I guess I will do this for now. Yeah, finally, Lou. I I'm done with the hangouts, but it's not really complete yet. What will you pull? Mm, pull? I will pull for new bullet. Uh, you guys are you're going to pull for the father, right? Arlem. But I'm going to pull for the Hydro Dragon. And then save for the Pyro Archon. Okay. Oh, we have uh, here Mr. Risley. Uh, Risley. <laughs> and Farina. Okay. We're gonna use them oh my, can I see Purina's uh, no. can I see Purina no I cannot see her stat right now okay maybe I will just use mine uh, you are in 50-50 now because you put 4 Ito right a bird simp oh my G MG it's 12 a.m. Now you have to sleep already. <laughs> it's 9 p.m. here, Loom. 9 p.m. I don't know. I think for Genshin Boy, I think you are. Your time right now is 6 p.m. Am I right? I don't know. How about. Okay, a bear sim is from Philippines also, so we have same time, right? One more, please. Oh my gosh, I don't know how to, I don't know how to use Mr. Ricely. Oh. I wanna, I wanna, okay, wait, okay. <laughs> oh, okay, see, see. Okay. okay. It's just a but wow. She, he looks so cool here. Look at that. Look at the face. <laughs> He's so cool here. He looks so cool. Okay. I forgot this is a, this is the photo taking event. All right. Okay. Where is the? Where's the enemies? Oh, oh my goodness. Okay. All right. Oh, it's like, hi. <laughs> it's like boxing nights. Nice. Boxing. All right. All right. Oh, oh my goodness. Who oh, is so cute here? I will take a picture. <laughs> okay. Oh, it's 6 p.m. there. I kinda regret pulling Risley. Why? Why do you regret pulling for him? Oh my goodness, oh my goodness. Okay, it's 500 now. Okay. Yeah. This could get a little chilly. That. <laughs> it's just punching enemies. He's so cute though, his eyes. <laughs> I definitely pulling for risk cake in his next rerun. Good luck on that, Average Simp. What is your name? Because <laughs> I keep on saying Average Simp. What's your name, by the way? Can you give me a nickname? Time to shine. Okay, how about Karina? <gasps> Whoa! <laughs> okay. <laughs> Alright. Okay, this one will do, I guess. But there is a dendro thingy there. Oh. Um, it's like... Okay. No, oh, I have dendro. This one, the dendro. Okay, why we have dendro cores here? Oh, no. <sighs> okay, let me heal Mr. Rice. Now, play cool. Face your guilt. Uh, 
the wrong test. Oh, oh my goodness. Let me heal, let me heal. The show begins! Oh my gosh, it's going, it's about to die. Okay. Okay, okay, Purina now. Purina's turn. Oh, it's just, it's just like dancing here. Aww. Look at that. Slay! Slay! <laughs> Melt? Oh, we, we don't have melt here because we only have two characters. Corina and Risley in this event. Now we are done. Oh, for Lou, I think you're you're asking you're telling for Lou, right? I called Risley Rice. Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> you can say that. I thought his name starts with Rio. Rio Tesli, but it's Risley. So yeah. I have no good characters for that. You can use Xiang Ling Lu for the melt. Uh, Xiang Ling. Um, ooh, we have Xiao here. Yes. We're going to plunge attack. Okay. Oh, I, I will not use my Xiao because it's not built. <laughs> so I'm gonna use the trial Xiao here. I call him Riz Cake. Okay. <laughs> okay. Xiao, welcome back. Okay. Alright, we're gonna use this one. Oh, yeah. is the enemies? Oh, okay. I will make way for the attack. Okay, I'm, I'm gonna punch. Oh my goodness. Okay. Oh, I wish my my show is like this. But it's it's not built. Oh my goodness. Wordless lament. <laughs> okay. Wordless. Okay. Seize the sky. Seize the sky. Disappear. Disappear. Lament. <laughs> oh my goodness. All right. Okay. Um. Here you go. The lament. Where's the lament? I cannot hear the lament. The lament. Come on. Okay. Useless. Useless. <laughs> Strike cloud converge. I will conquer it. Oh, there's no lament. I want to hear the lament. Lament. Okay. Where is Shao? Where are you, Shao? Where are you, Shao? I cannot see Shao. Oh, there you go. There's Shao. Okay, what are you guys doing? <laughs> All right. All right. Okay, huh. okay. There you go. Show is here. Look at that. Yeah. Skyward. Make way for the. No. Auntie, Auntie Shanyun. Lament. Can I can I hear the lament? Lament. Yes. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right. Boring. A oh, boring. <laughs> oh, man, so. Nice oh. show. Hey, can I take a peek? Oh, there's the wolf one from the Fatuiga. Lament, yeah. I like hearing the lament. Oh, disappear. oh disappear. Okay, disappear and it's done. Lament, <laughs> you guys. It says lament, you guys. All right. Let's go to the next one. Who it, who will it be? Oh, we yeah. have my Kasua boy is here. The two phase two banners here. All right, we're gonna use them. Lament. <laughs> the chat says, "Yeah, I really love to hear lament. Lament. I, I love to hear him saying that, but it's not." a good word right it's a sad word for him because of the 
experience he has in the past with the evil thingy. Alright. My Kasuwaga is here. Alright. Okay. Time to go. Um alright, this one. The wind knows me. Okay, I still don't know how to use uh new ballet by the way. So I'm gonna practice the time beckon. Do, do I need this one and then we can use the charge at the right away, right? Like that. Hmm. Okay, then steal so we can use the charge at that right away. Yes. Oh, okay. <laughs> Sorry about that. Oh, okay. Okay. The Hydro Dragon, Hydro Dragon, Hydro Dragon, don't cry. Oh, look at that. Okay. His eyes. Oopsie, 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 oopsie. We don't have a healer here. So heal yourself. You have to heal yourself. Hmm. Look at that. Okay. <laughs> If we use that, okay. If I use the skill, Settle down. the charge attack will go right away here. Oh my gosh, I need to. Okay, 1000 <laughs> is halfway now. I need to. Okay, wait. Be sanctified. I don't know how to use him yet. I need to practice using him. If I'm going to go for him, there you go. Go, go. Okay. Into the wind. Yes. As a one. There you go. Ship rods high. The birds come. The time Look at that. Wow, he's so cool here. I will take a picture. Look at dog, he's so cool. Alright. Okay, hey, maybe do like this one here. Like this. Oh my gosh. No, 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 no. Here, I guess. Oh no. Okay, but I got one picture. No, 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 no. no. Okay. Alright, we are done. I think he is good at C0 because um, I have a friend that has good damage at C0. Yeah, I think he's good. Oh, many people needs, uh, say he needs his first constellation. I'm not sure, but I think he's good at C0 because I have a lot of friends like Brawler. Brawler has a new ballet. Also, Genshin boy, he has new ballet also. I think their new ballet is uh, at C0 and they are good. Okay. Who was... Oh, we have uh, Mr. Gio here. Uh, Albedo. Okay, and uh, Navia is here. Yeah, Genshin boy, aka Don Mindfire. She, he has C0 new ballet. And also Brawler. He also has new ballet and they are good. Yeah, super good, right? Yeah. Okay, we have Mr. Obedo here. Okay. And we have the, you know, this, uh, what, what, we, what do you call this? Elevator? Yeah. Imagine like that. No? Alright. So I'm going to start. Oh, what happened? <laughs> what happened to the slimes? Okay. <laughs> Alright. Okay. Yeah, I will just. Oh my gosh. There you go. A proper send From the Stina with I'm innocent. You will have what? <laughs> <laughs> what are you guys doing in the chat? My goodness. Oh, Navia. It's just, wow, her smile. Wow, it's just the cutest with her smile. 
She's so cute with her smile. She's smiling. I don't. I didn't know she's smiling when when she's doing this. Wow. All right. Okay. I click this one. Click this one. All right. Uh, oh. All right. This one's got your name Hello. on it. <laughs> What's it, Lamet Blue? Oh, yeah. This one's got your again. Okay. We will really? use a bit of your bit. Okay. Feel this ancient power. Oh wow, this is so cool. Look at that. Okay. May I? Oh, it's so cute. Look at that. The codes, you know. Area your chat is losing control. You started it. You really do. You started it. <laughs> Just kidding. A proper send up from the Spino. Okay, I wanna see. I wanna see Navia with her umbrella here. Look at that. Oh, she's so charming. Oh, I, I have this one. Alright. Feeling lucky. Where are the enemies? Where are the enemies? Oh my goodness, I'll just. <laughs> Alright, where's the enemies? Where are the enemies? Where are the enemies here? Invisible? Enemies? Oh, there you go. Oh, wh why are you hiding? Watch out! I'm very sorry, I have to kill you. Witness my great undertaking! Love it! <laughs> why? Why are you saying love it, guys? <laughs> it started with me, I guess. Oh my goodness. <laughs> You guys, you're, you're getting crazy you now. Just kidding, alright. Okay. Feeling lucky! She's, oh, look at that, she's, she's mining while doing that. Okay. Alright. Come on now. Okay, that one. Oops. I know. Alright, 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 alright. This one. Feel the same ship power. Forth. This one's got your name! I need, I need to have to make it to 1,000 points. Please. 1,000. Oh, it's already 1,000. Okay. Okay. I think Ari got lament. You can stop. <laughs> oh my goodness, you guys. Alright. Come into be. Alright, there you go. Fire! Well. <laughs> Alright, this one. I really want to take a picture with Nabia like this. But there are enemies on the background. In the background, I don't like this. This one's got your name on it! Alright. Fellow of warfare, I guess. Okay, I'm done. What is with the lament? <laughs> OMG. Alright. The last one, I think. Yeah, the last one. Hmm. Oh, we have Jory and Ito. The first... Phase one banner here, okay. Yeah. Um Albert Sim Ito is here by the way. <laughs> Lemon. Okay. Yeah, Ito is here. We're going to use Ito. Uh, okay. This is one of his idol animation. I wanna see up close the one that you're telling me the combing thingy he combs his hair okay don't underestimate the beetle they can be some of the toughest little but guys but have around. fun finding <laughs> onikabuto yes, you can. Know what's a on very rich sim sweat and tears that's onikabuto what in that's how it stronger i think we can all learn something from that oh there you go oh no no, he didn't use that. Okay. Achori is here also. Okay, we're going to use them. Okay. I am the edge of... And what the, What is it? I am the cutting edge of fashion, right? Okay. I am the cutting edge of fashion. Yes. Okay. 
Okay, I will just use <laughs> Lament again, Lu! <laughs> you will get time out from my devious problem. <laughs> really? Huh? Okay, 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 okay. Oh, we're Who going wants to some Ito. of this? We're, we're gonna use Ito. No. Oh, good luck also, uh, Asia Zim. Ito's boss, I think, is the um, Geo Wolf in Inazuma. I remember like that it was. Silk. Let's go. To that boss uh, also is also um, Yunjin's boss. Oh, no. It took time for me to yeah. defeat it. It's Shota. You like lamenting, Lu? <laughs> Why? Okay, I don't know how to use Ito, sorry. What? What is he doing here? <laughs> Alright. I don't know how to use Ito. Okay. His skill. Can't catch me. But I am the cutting edge of fashion. Alright. What? Okay, I don't know what Let's to do. Alright. Please, 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 please. No, not yet. Alright. <laughs> oh, coming through! Alright. Okay, it's 1000 already, so. And then I still have time. Oh, where's the enemies? Here you go. I am the cutting at silk. Fashion. Oh, no, not. Oh, he's, he's so good here. Or oh, she has the wall sword. Right. After burst, hold charge attack after burst. Ah, okay, okay, okay. Oh my goodness, you picked oh my. the wrong fight! Hold charge attack after burst. Oh, I see. I see. Okay. I'll see. I will do it. I'll do it. Oh my gosh. Where, where will I go? I am the cutting edge of fashion. Oh, look at that. Um, these, these dolls. Chori's doll. This one here. This part. This, this doll here is very popular. Uh, oops. Okay, I'm going to use Ito's burst now. Who wants and some then of this? I'm going to hold the charge attack. Right? Oh, wow. It's, uh, it's automatic now. Okay, that's one. Get him! I think I'm done here. Alright, I'm done. Yay. Okay. Are you doing... Are you doing with Hangout? Hangout? I'm not sure yet. Um, I will use my resins. Cause it's 2 hours already. I'm doing... I'm streaming for 2 hours now. So I'm going to do my... Um, resins, I think. I, I I think so yeah. Wait, let me go to my keypad first because I need to I, it's Saturday, right? Yeah, it's Saturday. I need to get the rewards. I mean the the coins so that on Monday it's 1000 coins for the battle pass. Phew. Oh. Uh, yeah, I think it will show his abs when you you do his burst, right? This <laughs> those abs. Okay. Yeah, this one. Oops. No. Okay, I'm done here. If you ever. All right. And also my plans. Okay, and then maybe I will do resin because I might take time doing the hangouts. 
Hello, Kazuha. Hi. Hello. Hi. Hello. Okay. Alright. Oops, I missed one. One, one. There you go. Okay. Uh, good luck. You um fighting the golden. What is that? Golden wolf for Ito's ascension. I hate that boss. I guess you need. I guess you need a Geo character. I'm not sure, but I think if your um, team is strong, no need for Geo character. I guess. Alright, we're done with the teapot. Just staring in the sunset, my guy? Oh, Ito? <laughs> you wish you can grow any Kabuto? Um, there is somewhere here in Inazuma. Um, I think I marked uh, the... Here! I marked it here. This will be the um, Onikabuto. But not here. You have to go to the cave where you did with the... Anum, uh, Ayaka's quest. I don't know if you did Ayaka's story quest. You will go inside a cave. And you get to have... Um, you will get plenty of Onikabuto there, I think. Do you wanna visit my teapot? Okay, let's visit Prowler's teapot. What do you have in your teapot, Prowler? Maurice? Uh, okay, let's visit Prowler's teapot. <laughs> okay. Oh, you're not online. You're not online, Prowler. <laughs> okay. Where are you though, here? Where? Oh, here you go. You're not online? Oh, you're uh, last online one day ago. So you, you, you're in HSR right now, right? Uh, may, can I visit your teapot even though you're offline? Oh, yeah, I can visit. Okay, yeah. I can still visit your teapot. Okay. I just find that now. <laughs> There's probably something terrifying. <laughs> yeah, maybe, right? Um, oh, you you got the fountain theme here. Uh, I have also the theme, but I don't know how to design, so I'm stick with the Inazuma theme. Uh, okay. Oh, you got Hutao and coming here. Let me see. What do you have here? Use the waypoint so you don't need to walk. Or... Are you here to show? Are you scared, Lou? <laughs> don't be scared. <laughs> okay. Oh my gosh! What is this? <laughs> Why you put the waypoint here down? Oh. Okay, how can I go out? Okay. Oh, alright. <laughs> oh, you put the teapot here. I mean, the, the waypoint here. Alright. <laughs> oh my gosh, Lu, love it. Oh, nice. Oh, you have shrine here. Shrine. Shrine for Raiden A eh? or Yaimiko? Inasuma. Inasuma team in a fountain. What is this? Layout. Um, I heard Wind Trace event is coming back in 4.6. I'm very excited for that yeah. event. Hi, Xiao. Hi, Xiao. Why are you here? Hi. <laughs> okay. Why you put Xiao here? <laughs> Nothing scary, guys. Okay. Why you put Chow by the um, here by by the what what do you call this one? Hot uh, hot spring. You can sit here, right? You can sit here. And lament. <laughs> Just kidding. 
Oh my goodness, lament is the word for today. A uh, win trace, it's, it's like a, it's like a hide and seek event, Lou. It's fun, it's very fun. If you are the um, seeker, then maybe you are not, <laughs> you're not having fun as seeker or hunter. You call hunter maybe. But if you're one of the, what is that? What do you call that? Oh my gosh! What? <laughs> what is this, brother? What did you do here? Oh my goodness, my hutao died! My goodness. You did something here, right? <laughs> Bruh! <laughs> my goodness! What was that? <laughs> Oh my goodness, what 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 do you do? What did you do here? With the wind. What is that? There's no waypoint here, right? There's no Oh, is the waypoint underground? And then I died here because there's no waypoint here? What is this touch? Oh my gosh, wait. <laughs> now I'm scared. <laughs> Ay, gosh, yeah. Brother is hiding something. Oh, you can see. You can do that. Touch, and then it will. Oh, okay. I think I don't have this. You buy. You bought this from the shop, right? Am I right? Oh, is it or is this from the um, Sakura tree? Um, I don't know. It was more fun when I drop another stream in it. Who is that? Dory? Dory. It's Dory. Huh? This one is Dory. <laughs> you forgot Dory, look. Okay. Oh, you have the the two uh 3.8 event box here, right? This is from the 3.8 event. Okay, oh, you have here Oh, the events um, Items um, This is from From Klee's event This one is from The one from uh, A fountain event, right? Fountain event where you get um, Bennett as free character, I think are you still fixing your teapot, average simp? I see. Hmm. Um. What else you have in this place, brawler? Uh, I will die an here again? In this <laughs> I don't know. When was that event? The... What do you mean, loot? The... Um, Bennett free character event or the I don't know the box the boxes <laughs> Oh you cannot send the link I see I don't know how to do it. Oh a am I trapped here with the cuts? <laughs> why you drop the cuts here? <laughs> Brother, why you drop the cat? I thought you have two cats. Oh no, you have rabbit, not cat, right? Why you drop them here? <laughs> ah, Bennett, I think it was in 4.0? As I remember, is it 4.0? I think it's 4.0. I forgot already. I'll show it to you when I finish anything scary there, source. Trust me. <laughs> okay. I don't mind. <laughs> Average sim. If it's scary or not, we will visit it. <laughs> Why you drop the cuts here, brawler? <laughs> okay. I need to climb because he put the waypoint there with the cuts. Okay. Oh, nothing here, I see. Oh, we have animals here. <laughs> yeah. Oh, is this a work in progress? Mm. Oh, there's so many animals here. 
Oh, and the Kokomi. Kokomi, crystal flies. He started 4.20, I see. I think September is 4.2. I'm not sure. September, 4 point, either 4.2 or 4.1. You got plenty of birds here. Why? <laughs> oh, you have foxes also. Oh, dogs. Okay. I see. <laughs> Alright, okay. I will go back to my world. Oh, how do I go back to my world? Ah, uh, here. Yeah, here. I will... Okay, go to Inazuma. Oh, okay, maybe... No, 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 no. I need to go to Fontaine. One oh, you started during Fontaine batch too, right? So maybe 4 point something... <laughs> How many animals did you kidnap for this? He will also kidnap spiders loom. Maybe in the future. Just kidding. Mm -hmm. How many you told me to kidnap? <laughs> I go. Okay. Oh. Okay, why do I have reject on? Because I did the... I did the hangouts. Somebody joined me after you joined me, Prowler. And they asked me something that is... I don't know. It is a player with a Kaya... Kaya PFP. Alright. I never told you to kidnap anything. <laughs> Alright. Okay, um, I think I will do two. Uh, six, I guess. Six. Alright, I'm going to do my resin. And I'm gonna use. Oh, wait! I didn't get my commission yet. Yeah, I need to get my commission. My internet sucks today! Oh, man. I thought it's only in the Philippines. <laughs> there is. There's also like that in Nepal. Alright, we have internet here, PLTT. Um, <laughs> and it's kinda slow, but I will take it, I guess. Alright, I'm going to use coming. I level here, I mean, I ascended him to level 70 now. And his artifacts are from uh, Hutao's leftovers, so. And then his talents is just this one, 365. Mm, I'm gonna use him for friendship farming. Oh, your internet always sucks. Mine too, but um, <laughs> uh, mine too. My my internet also. But it's okay. Oops, Max. All right, Max. Okay. Alright, I'll just get my commissions from... This is from the quest that I did, the hangout quest. So I don't need to go to this. <laughs> go and do these commissions over the map. Oh, did I do? I didn't do. Where is the commissions now here? Where is the pink... I mean the violet commissions. I didn't do the commission just from the hangout Add quest. Astra 800 the wool time. Thank you for comp It's hot here, yeah, average sim. Yep, we are in the summer season Add now. It's very hot here. That's why we always go to the malls, right? Average sim because there are <laughs> um there are <laughs> air condition <laughs> in the malls and then we can just stroll than to be suffer in hot and humid weather right okay I'll, i will farm for new bullet because i don't have circle ah circle uh, what do you call that circuit and cup yet for him <laughs> also the songs i just have the feather and flower the 
the sun is near us. Yep, I can relate to that. I I can relate to that. Especially if there's no electricity in your town. There are times that there's no electricity in, in our towns and it's very hot. So we just go to the malls. Alright. I don't know, but coming heals himself like Chabruz. Hey. If I use this Help one, you. he heals himself so he doesn't need healing. <laughs> But for you, oh. let's go, let's go. Come on. Oh, all right. It still feels like summer here in Australia. I see. But you're going to what is that? You're in autumn season now, right? Okay. <laughs> Uh, are you in cold weather, brawler? <laughs> oh my goodness, we're here again. <laughs> Reese mode is here again. Okay. okay, look at that. Oh my gosh. Oh my goodness. Many happy return. Was he 43? Where did we go for level level 70? Make yourself a move! Up to it, Montai! Feels like summer. I see. I, oh, you're in cold weather, Prowler. I see. And now we are back to Kaya Racing Sticker moment again. <laughs> okay. Oh. Alright. Everyone hold hands. I'm having fun using Gummy here. Show me what him because he's doing good with level 70 only death of course it it will be death definitely de death definitely death <laughs> okay you always feel like home to me it's that's not a joke <laughs> what are you saying brawler <laughs> i will love it if you say kaya really <laughs> Oh my goodness, you guys. We are back to Riz mode chat. Send help. Barbara Shasticker. <laughs> I will just use Chichi. Chichi Fallen Sticker. Alright. Okay. They, they just did two rounds and done. I still have plenty of resins. 70? I, I need to condense this. Hmm. <laughs> All right. This uh, this chat now is very smooth. Um. All right. I think I have. Well, how much do I have? Okay, three, and then I have this one. It will expire on. It's in six days. Uh, eight days to go. Expire in eight days. Hmm. Uh, sometimes I'm busy during the week days, so maybe um, I will just use I will just use the um what is this fragile? Does it? No, no, no. 
the resin from the teapot. Oh. oh, you forgot to to spend your resin, Lou. Yeah, you have to spend your resin. Okay, I just. Okay, I have I have one thirty resin now. All right. Six rounds to go. How long will I take it? How long will it take me to get a perfect set for the ballet? Let's see. Oops. <laughs> I don't like to to be the host when it's co-op, but if they accidentally go to my world, then I have no choice. Join Ari, she will help. Yeah, yeah. Are you going to do your resin now, Lu? I can help if you need help. Yum. Okay. Oh, wait. We're just two of us here. Just the two of us here? Are you sure it's just the two of us here? <sighs> okay, Lou, do you, do you need help, Lou? Just let me know. Okay, I think... I don't know if we're just two people here. There's th no 3P and 4P. Oh, two of us only here. La <laughs> <laughs> there you go again, the lament word. Okay. <laughs> Alright. Okay, just the two of us here. Why? Why? I don't know why we started. Artifact here, not a decent one. I just need to have the a good HP sounds and circuit and the the goblet as well. Mini happy return. Death. Huh. Call, 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 
<laughs> what are you guys doing on the ch <laughs> Alright. Why me? Why us help for me? Get with me! Hey, right, right. Let the world collide! Up to it, Montai! <laughs> else I just joined random but I can go back to my world okay I will just help him <laughs> I will just help this play time to shine just play for you And I need to. I also need to condense the 50 uh, resin. So, yeah, three more <laughs> rounds with you. I don't know if he still needs help. I will just help this guy. I just do the random co op. <laughs> okay, wait. Wait. I will just help him and then I will go back to my world. Gonna be the death of me. Why? Kaya sticker is making me insane. Okay. Let's make it more insane with it. <laughs> oh my gosh, you guys. What is these stickers? What is this with the stickers? Are uh, you can... That's this. <laughs> oh my goodness, Lou. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness <laughs> What is this with the speakers chat? I don't know what are you guys doing 
gosh. What is this with Kaya's stickers? Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, Lu. Oh my goodness, you guys. I will just use Hutao Evil Love stickers. Oh my goodness. I personally can turn water into wine. My goodness. But I can turn you into my. <laughs> oh my goodness, you guys! This chat is getting crazy. Does it make you guys happy? <laughs> oh my gosh! I don't know if you are here, don't mind fire, but they are. <laughs> I'm getting crazy with this. Um, I don't know, though. I really don't. <laughs> <laughs> you guys, boom, boom, you made Lou like boom, this. Boom, you made Lou enough. turn to be like this. <laughs> I need a okay, okay, Lou. We will do another round. Okay, wait. I will just, I will just condense. Oh man, it's the timing. New Ballad is here, and the song is. Is what what do you call that? Polor de la Sur? Does it do you call it like that? I love this background music, the one when whenever it rains. This is the background music that you hear in Fontaine. And it reminds me of New Bellet. His story quest, so that is why made me pull for him. And I'm very excited this Wednesday or Tuesday. Okay, I will just condense my last 50 resins. Lou accepted my wreath. <laughs> oh, you guys, you made Lou turn to like this. Look at Lou. <laughs> Alright, okay, I will just condense my last 50. I think. Oh, yeah, maybe not good na the the ping ping because it's asia asia server and he's in australia my goodness the the chat mode the chat turned to reese mode now okay let's do the domain 481 Wow. Rain? Oh my oh, man. look at my ping. It's the red. Two nine seven MS three oh three yeah. Alright, ready? Are you ready? Prepare for yourself. I came. Hydra Dragon, Hydra Dragon, don't cry, yum. I love that BGM background music. That's from the I uh, mean New Ballet's story, right? Oh, why do I keep on doing much? I have I have Genshin Boy here. Why do I keep man? Okay. Alright, I will just use Farina here. And gaming as friendship. I see the value in my own work. Oh, do you need but I also one see Gio? The in all the endeavors of okay, the never of mind. <laughs> All right. I believe I will continue to take pride in fulfilling them. OMG, this is one of the best history women. Really? <laughs> my lowest, the lowest my thing has ever been to 399. I see. Mine is some three, three, 300 something, I think. Okay. Hell you. Okay, all right. Stabilize. I will have order. Okay, okay the two the two dragons here. Let the fight be humble. Up to it, Monzai. Bow your head. The show begins. Can 
Chin Boy. Thank you. Okay. He's using Zongi so that his charge and darkness can get corrupted. Oh, I see. So it's like C1 New Ballet? Um, I I don't know. Maybe he has zero. C0 New Ballet. Of course, I will get Dev. Of course. What do I expect? See? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Alright. You're so laggy? I see. It's... I didn't notice you lag. Um, I think it's fine for me. Alright. Okay. Strike a pose! I know you see... Up to him on that! One more round. <laughs> okay, of course I will get deaf. Oh, it's a EM. Yeah, of course it's deaf. I think one last, but I don't know if I will do the 20 resin. I'm not sure. Okay, alright. Where are you? Okay, here you go. Alright. Happy return! I will have order. Found your head. Okay. Let the fight be humble. Up to it, Monzai! Congratulations! <laughs> How you? <laughs> Many happy returns! What do I have here? Okay. Oh, uh, this one is a dog, but I do have feather already. I have good feather for new bullet. I oh that this is not new bullet set. Mm, okay. All right. Okay. Th I think that's it. I really like Gaming's animation. Yeah, me too. Now I'm enjoying using Gaming. I'm enjoying using him now. He's just level 70 and he's doing good damage for me. Thank you so much. Tway so much. Thank you so much for um for joining. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Now it's sunny day. We cannot hear the rainy thingy. Okay, he left already. Thank you so much. If you need help, please let me know. Okay, you have to go. My, your friend is calling. Okay, no worries. I am done also. Thank you so much for helping, Dawn. Thank you, thank you. Okay. I like... Oh, you didn't get the gaming? I see. I did not pull uh, on the banner he is in, but I got him from the uh, free Liwe for character, for star character during the Lantern Ride event. So, yeah. But later on, I got his C1 from the standard banner, I think. No, no, no. Yeah, I, I think standard or... A weapon banner? I'm not sure, but I got his C1. Alright. Um yeah. 
I think I am done for today. <laughs> Uh, what is uh, I think I did this already and then yeah Lin Linet's hangout will continue <laughs> Linet's hangout will continue um, um, off off stream I think off stream oops I need to need to return to single mode player. I got Ning Guang there for some reason. I see. I see. Um, I got uh, all of them except Gaming. So I chose Gaming because I really want to. Uh, I I want to uh, use all the characters. Not use, but I want to just try to use them. Like go up. So I have plenty of characters that are in level 70 just to do in props. I don't know, but I built characters for Raiden co ops done, done for the Spiral Abyss. If you can see my Raiden, <laughs> what do you call that? Raiden, I mean the Raiden boss. I, I always go there and have fun with other players. Uh, I think I killed Raiden for 4,000 now, 4,388 times. Uh, Cause I really love to do it. I don't know. I enjoy doing that. That's why I build characters, even there are four stars or something like that. All right, I guess. Um. Yeah. Okay. I guess this is it. Thank you so much, guys, for joining with me. I really had fun with you guys, uh, especially, especially the Rismo with chat. <laughs> Okay, brawler and average theme <laughs> and the word lament from blue <laughs> and also this Kaya Reese. Oh man. Okay, I will just I will also reply with Kaya Reese. I don't know, where do you find that? Where do you find that? Oh, is it here? Oh it should oh this one. Oh my goodness. <laughs> no, I will not do that to my <laughs> I will not do that to me, so I will just do it now. <laughs> okay, thank you so much, you guys, for um, tea parties watching are a must and for the well mannered and chatting like here. I had fun um, reading your chats. I will end up with uh, Farina and because uh, I will wait for new bullet. Uh, he's coming in uh, two days and 19 hours. 45 minutes is coming soon so thank you so much thank you uh, if you enjoy my stream thank you so much um, I don't know <laughs> I don't know how to make this stream enjoyable but it is because you have you are here that's why it's an <laughs> I guess it's uh, fun I don't know <laughs> but yeah I will see you guys next time I guess I don't know but if you need help or anything just let me know I will end up with Farina going back to his uh, to her home, her house. I will end the stream there. So thank you so much, Lou. Meet you on next stream with new Riz. <laughs> wow, Lou, you have to prepare for Riz, uh, and a Riz uh, chat, Riz ch <laughs> another Riz. <ch> <laughs> I enjoyed going. <laughs> oh, Lou. <laughs> Okay, I think Lou, you need to prepare for Riz lines, you know, pick up lines for roller. I don't know. <laughs> oh, <laughs> please no. Oh, I see, I see. <laughs> okay, bye bye, guys. Yeah, bye bye, roller. Bye bye, guys. Oh, thank you so much. I hope you had fun and have a great weekend. Sunday tomorrow. So, see ya. Um, have a good night, rest. For those who are going to sleep, especially for Lou, <coughs> it's midnight. Okay, <laughs> so see you guys. Oh, bye bye, don't mind fire. Also, bye bye. Oh, risk competition. All right, okay, I'm going to end the stream soon. So, bye bye. Here you go. I'm going to end one, two, three, four, five.